Oh, Starfinders, are you ready? We are going live with CritterCon 5 in 3, 2, we're already there. Pizza! <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom, Patrick. No! <laughs> All right, we're back. Can, ba can I go get a drink real quick? <laughs> we're, going back to, we're going back to the loading screen. Oh, we're back. We're out. And no, I'm just kidding. I, I have control over that now. Uh, can everyone hear us out in Twitch land? Now. We've got a let's go from Trooper Akata. We're all, we're all uh, like stretched out. Yeah, no, I, I, I wanted to m make you look, uh, as <laughs> fat a head as I actually have in real life, Seth. So um, I've, I've, that's not how I've that stripped works. The horizontal. It's, 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 it's the vertical. camera adds 10 degrees in this Yeah, direction. it makes us look thinner, Seth. Yeah. What? No, that's not a bad thing. Well, right? No, I stretch us mm -hmm. up this way, so that makes sense. No, no you, did not. you did not. Did I? I don't Vertically. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? I haven't used. I'm. I'm very, very bad at controlling the stream. So you're, you have this to <laughs> look forward to tonight and tomorrow night, guys. Wraith we... says cute bangs, Rebecca. Thank you, Wraith. Of course, of course, the the Rebecca idolization comes. Out first thing in our stream. Uh, guys, welcome to CritterCon 5, everyone. <laughs> Saying that out loud, it's like, how long have we been on this podcast for? <laughs> but wait, have we been on this for five years? Or is this like, did we do two one year? We started in, we started... No, we started in 2017, and we did a very short, unofficial, very unofficial convention then in November. So it was like a different... Critter Con, and then, then we started doing it in the the spring, and it's gotten bigger and bigger. Uh, welcome everyone in the chat that is watching us live on Twitch. Uh, everyone that's listening to this afterwards, after the convention is over. But in general, just a, a thank you to everyone that has shown up and opened up your your hearts and your wallets. This year and years past, two CritterCon, two Doctors Without Borders. Um, you guys, hopefully, if you you've donated in the past before, you you've seen the 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 thank you letters and the emails and things that you can get. Doctors Without Borders is extremely highly rated charity. If you don't know what they do, they provide medical equipment, services, personnel all over the planet. Uh, to combat issues that arise everywhere. So when we started this convention, they they had experts out there dealing with deadly flesh-eating diseases and, and things like that. And I don't know if you... Uh, have you guys noticed there's there's a pandemic a couple years ago? I don't know if this is oh, news to you. <laughs> a, pa a, pan, a, pan, a pan what? A pandemic, pandemic, yes. Uh, pandas, yeah, yeah. Frying, I'm aware a pandemic, of a frying yeah. pandemic that they've obviously been donating a a great deal of their time, money, and effort to. And then most recently, with the conflict in the Ukraine, they've been. I think they've done three major medical supply drops, um, humanitarian missions into the Ukraine since the 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 escalation of the war has has gone on um you can read all about that on their webs website they're also known as medecin sans frontier the french title um but uh at msf and msf underscore usa on twitter if you want to read more about their mission uh we've already gotten donations from haniel's wraith and some friends through our donation portal uh which I have forgotten to continuously spam in our chat already. So let's let's start that tradition. <laughs> Doctors Without Borders <laughs> special event. Uh, you can donate to us. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, it's it's a lot of spam. It's a, a wall of text. Yeah, let's just just, keep... just click one of those. Yeah, click click a link. Click one. Just like just like aim your cursor. In the general area <laughs> of all that purple and lots, just, just click. Lots of links in the chat. Wail away. Um, any of any of us can uh, throw that link in there at any time. You can donate to this stream natural 20s for $30 per 20. 
uh, $10 for a reroll for any player or your your kind-hearted GM who, who in his practice dice roll gave up uh, a natural 20 already. <laughs> My only dice roll so far in this this He's uh, already this revealing the rigged machine, folks. It's already <laughs> a rigged machine! And yeah, um, you can donate any number of dollars that you want, including uh, you know, a hundred dollars to give someone that much of a bonus on a roll. So you can give someone a plus sixty nine uh, on a on a d twenty roll, and they could still roll one and mess that up. But uh, you can you can donate whatever you want for a plus x bonus, which is pretty nice. There's a, there's a special prize for the first person to donate four hundred and twenty dollars and sixty nine cents. We've it's got, a funny number bonus. We've gotten there with single donations before. Mm. I have a question. Yeah. Oh, yes, Rebecca. So if you have like an automatic 20, for example. I mean, <laughs> if someone really... has already given Rebecca <laughs> an you know. automatic 20, yes, what is your Do question? Do I have to choose to use that before I roll? Or can I roll and then decide to turn that into a 20? That one I'm going to keep you honest. You've got to use before you roll. If you want to also spend... Ten dollars for a re-roll. I'll allow you to re-roll and quote use the twenty after that. <laughs> so you can, if you get a natural one and you're like, "Oh no, we can't do that." Do a re-roll and then a natural twenty. That is, that's fine. That's okay. okay. That's okay. that's allowed, right? Like if I donate like a, a couple hundred bucks, I can just wail on you guys. That cool. And we gotta put a limit on on what we can do or yeah. not. Nothing. Just turn it into a big slugfest where we're all throwing money at each other. <laughs> it's for charity, yeah. So it's for a good cause. Beating up Patrick. <laughs> oh dear you <laughs> Um Yeah, I, I think we're ready to to get started. We are playing and let's make sure this screen works completely. Uh we're playing a bounty, a Starfinder bounty tonight called the Cantina Job. You guys can see this and chat. Uh, get well. Have, have have I said anything about what this this uh, this bounty is to you guys before the stream? Uh, no, no, but I just heard a smidgen. But I just immediately hear jazz music in my head as soon as I think <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> yep. Can't Cantina is official name for Star Wars music, by the way. That's yeah, Star yeah, Wars yeah, Cantina yeah, no, music. Right. That's the official name. <laughs> George Drew. Lucas approved. Drew, beyond that, do you know what the name of that band is? Uh, it's uh, Max Rebo and the something something. I don't no, no, no. That's thing. no Max Rebo's in, in Return of the Jedi. The oh, yeah, that's, right. that's the Jizz Whalers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right. Critic on fine sponsor by Pornhub.com. Just making <laughs> making a note here to cut this out of the audio edition <laughs> of when it comes out. <laughs> also, also cut it out Star of the Wars, stream. Patrick. Or, or in the edit zone. Let's talk about something current events that just will not matter by the time this comes out. <laughs> Uh, Critic Round 5 is happening right now. That's the current <laughs> okay, event, that's, Sam. No, that's fair. That's enough. <laughs> I've already mentioned Ukraine. Uh, hopefully it's uh, oh, geez, not man. topical. I don't know. I don't know. Out. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, who has donated thus far. We've already gotten some re-rolls. We've gotten the aforementioned Natural 20. Uh, and I'm going to keep keep updating as we as we go along to to make sure we're not missing any uh feel free to type in the chat if you have if you have donated and it you're not seeing it come up i think i've i've gone through all the no donations all the donos that we've done so far um, um er, earlier today when i when i logged on here um you know roll 20 sort of defaults to, to collecting your video and your your sound and uh, Seth was in here, and I was talking on the phone with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so when I logged in, and Seth was like, "Bert, I can hear everything you, you're saying, and you can see the, the it was a cute story of that in the yeah. uh, in the chat window here." So that's a little behind the scenes for all the <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I'm just going through like all the donations so far, so don't mind me. Just reading. <laughs> Reading a wall of text. But uh, when we started the stream, 
We are up over a thousand dollars raised so far. We have three days of con, so two more after this. But uh, I just want what's our what's our uh, record for that, Patrick? Do you remember? Um, I think last year's Critter Con was the 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 most donos, and I think it was six thousand six hundred and sixty six dollars. That uh, can't be right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. So. Huh. Yay us! <laughs> wow, we got, we got we got cool we got cool folks <laughs> who donate to us. Yeah, we had, we had some late donations to make sure to get it to. Uh... Oh, they don't donate to us. <laughs> so no, let's, yeah, not to specify us. that. Yeah. Uh, right. to, to doctors, people who like doctors and who uh, all kind of like us. <laughs> uh, Chupra, God, I don't think you could put uh, links in the chat, but if you want to put it in the Discord, go right ahead. Keep spamming people in the Discord. Uh, call out people immediately in the Discord. Uh, right, so the Cantina job is a Starfinder bounty. It is an organized play scenario. These are the bounties are a, a new addition. I think they kind of used to have something similar that they would do for conventions called quests, which were usually larger adventures broken down into like smaller chunks so you can do like one in an hour and then go do something else at a convention. Um, this one's a little bit longer than that. Um, how many pages is it? That's a, that's maybe something I could have looked up beforehand. I feel like it is a little bit shorter. Yeah, they're only like ten pages. They are fairly short and very fun to to jump into if you're looking for a a quick introduction to Starfinder or Starfinder Society, which is what we are we're doing here tonight with the. Starfinder Society pre-generated characters, and oh man, we were fairly close to getting them uh, correctly organized with how you guys came into whoop, chat. Let me see here. We've got uh, five pre-generated characters tonight, and you guys have just kind of picked <laughs> picked a little randomly including um i guess rebecca you've you've played this character before correct yeah not for a while though right uh, a classic of the starfinder society uh ubazaya um, what what do you what do you know about this this character uh just that she's awesome and people like playing all ubazaya tables so you know I also, I saw the first person to choose their character chose a Witch Warper, and I was like, oh, we're going to need a tank. So I chose a <laughs> that's a That's a really good question. Uh, Wraith is playing this game tomorrow. Uh, should they sign off or? Well, that's the thing. I think these bounties, like some of the quests, are repeatable. So you might be able to do it the, the scenario multiple times. Whenever you do that in Starfinder Society, you do kind of want to uh, play a blind ignorance of t the plot. If you if you don't want spoilers, then uh, don't don't want just now. But uh, we we either way are happy to have you here. Look, look, it's a Starfinder Society thing. You're gonna want to handle it one way, and you you can't you won't be able to do it. It's just gonna be, you're just gonna shoot people. That's just yeah, how it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil things. There's loot behind the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy. You shoot the guy, <laughs> and also there's also there's death behind the door. <laughs> and, well, and we should we should also say we may be playing some fun other games after this is over. So you know, hang out, huh? Hang out, have fun. Hang out. Why don't you? Was I not invited to the after party again? Ooh. Oh no! Why did you mention I that? Mean, true. We're not playing any. True. That's fine. I'll just go play Elden Ring. Dietreth. Oh man, now I want to play Elden Ring. Dietreth in the. Uh, oh no, we're losing everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm signing off, guys. I'm sorry. Everyone's going to play Elden Ring. Elden Ring time. Dietreth in the chat has said that they've just started listening to Dead Men Roll No Chris and is getting hey. accustomed to Seth's voice. So, Seth, you're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> I am also getting accustomed to Seth's voice. Oh. All right. Well, oh, okay. I guess we said many times. We should mention uh, uh, we we are missing a Tyler tonight. It's everyone else on the Cosmic Crit 
uh, family here. Uh, the 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 reason we lost Tyler completely last CritterCon is his w- wife went into labor, so it's like whatever. Like what what yeah. a terrible it's, excuse. It's, it's, it's so annoying. So really but that the commitment that was the like <laughs> exactly one year ago from this weekend. So he's. He, uh, He's has some kind of something like a baby party birthday or something. A, a, birth a birth baby birthday. party. I told him whatever. the kid wouldn't even remember. So like, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, kid's not gonna remember. Mm. Um, it, it, it does. It does occur to me, Patrick. Is there a chance that anybody's a first time viewer of anything we've put together out there in the chat today? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, I'm, it's, I'm it's sure. a non-zero chance. Non zero. If you're new in the chat, uh, we have. Um, we have traditions here on our, our Twitch channel, <laughs> besides donating to <laughs> Doctors Without Borders. If you're Borders, new tonight, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to give us a toot toot when we roll a natural two, which you have to. is going to happen. Uh, you can either type it in or the, the stream rewards. You can do it that way. Um, Yeah, I've, I've been on the game screen this entire time while we've been talking, and uh, mm-hmm. we haven't gotten much further <laughs> into the... <laughs> uh, into the the roll 20 introductions uh rebecca is playing ubaziah let me just refresh this right. boop, 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 boop. and who else we got here we've got uh miles who who are you playing this is one of the non-core rule book starfinder pre yeah characters. um i'm playing zamir he's a human sensei witch warper awesome awesome seth who are you playing tonight I'm playing Keskadai, oh. the uh, Shirin Mystic, who a- I have played a number of times because I think he's the best pre gen. AKA a bug dad. Bug dad, indeed. He does have bug dad. he does have a, a a small larval stage Shirin hanging in a amulet like structure around his neck. Like you do. Bug dad. Bug, bug dad. dad. Bug dad. Bug dad. Oh, who else? Drew, you've, you're you also playing one of the new pre-gens. Yeah, I'm playing Valoro, the uh, Lashunta Vanguard, um, which is going to be interesting. Um, I guess I, let, me, let me just show off their art a little bit, Zamir and Valoro. And when we say new, it's like new to us because I don't think we've played them on Cosmic Crit before a... Uh, a human witch warper and a Lashinta vanguard. I mean, I have to point out that back in season two of Cosmic Crit, uh, Drew and I played a uh, vanguard and witch warper, respectively. Very, but that was very with new play classes. Test, yeah. Playtest rules. We have never uh, actually yeah. played with full on actual rules. So I'm <laughs> interested to see how the witch warper behaves i don't know it's it's level one yeah super yeah, op I, I, level looking one at, at the wish like, oh i just stand there <laughs> at level one the, you you get basically all of the abilities exist in theory <laughs> right right yeah it's like, like, <laughs> I, I, level I, one, I, it's like it's like it's like i can cast so just, astro just, turf you know, i can be like slightly annoying right? which i guess <laughs> so i guess know, is like really indicative of myself so i mean eventually this is what your character will be able to do just think about it while you're I'm sending you to an alternate dimension. Your straight twenty, straight d twenty. <laughs> but what's wild is like the the character art for the Witch Warper is so awesome. It's way cool. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 way cool. Oh boy, I wish it was more than level one though. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, uh, Ilanils is saying Obazaya was the first Starfinder character uh, ever played. Um, I think my first one was uh, actually Keskadai. I think I played that at mm-hmm. PAX a few years ago. I think my, and, uh, I think my, my first was Obazai <laughs> as well. Uh, Obazai is a good first one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Am I, am I, am my first yeah, character, well, I'll, we'll, we'll save it for when we get to Jabert because that was my first. Uh, right, Jabert, who are you playing? <laughs> I'm playing I'm... Navasi. Navasi's, Navasi's elbow? In... Oh, yeah. Uh, the human outlaw envoy uh who carries a flashlight so i got that going for me i love her hair like her hair is the coolest color yeah she's she's super rad her hair is Um, like the rachel of starfinder yeah yeah and like and she like i like that her her pistol has like like a pink inlay on the grip it's super rad um yeah i'm sorry the rachel i think i think that's just the rachel like from friends no like the haircut 
the Rachel, Rachel haircut. haircut. The Rachel okay, haircut. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> not that it is. Not that she has the Rachel haircut. I mean, it hasn't been cool for a while. that her haircut is the Rachel of <laughs> It's been cool since at least 2000 and what, two? I don't know. I'm still, so, I feel like I've seen like a million cyberpunk characters that had that kind of hair. It's it's uh, and cyberpunk also has it. No, that's cool. why that's, that's, that's why it's the Rachel. Files. That's why we're doing it. <laughs> it's like when Friends was popular, everyone was asking for the Rachel. Like it was like it was like it was the haircut. <laughs> I mean, I I would get like the the sandwich, you know, with the sauerkraut and all that, and then I'd put that on my head, and everyone, you know, but the Reuben, what? No, the Rachel. <laughs> I, the Rachel. I know where okay. that was going. <laughs> he he Drake says the the Rachel Ray. <laughs> I was thinking of Rachel. <laughs> oh. And then Chipper kind of says, uh, oh, sure no. Rachel is old enough to drink now. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you do that? I mean, yeah, that show debuted almost 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. The, mm-hmm. the Rachel haircut's old enough to run for president now. <laughs> yeah. right. I mean, probably the baby that played Emma is like an adult now. Oh, absolutely. Probably, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, we're all old and we're going to die soon. So. <laughs> let's get to playing. <laughs> so let's play some Starfinder. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, that that transition. Uh, yeah, this adventure, this bounty, starts where so many do. Not all of them, but so many do for Starfinder organized play, Starfinder Society, uh, and that is on Absalom Station, the space station at the center of the the packed world, and really the center of the universe, because, like, all roads lead to this huge space station as a a major hub for, for travel, for commerce, everything like that. Uh, I'll just... Double checking that is is basically D Space Nine. Uh yeah, I mean Or Babylon Far. It's a little bit of both, probably a little bit more Babylon, just because it is huge. It is huge. As you can see in the art here, we've got a a giant pressurized dome called the the eye, and this thing down the bottom is the spike. Anyway. <laughs> this is where a lot of the adventures start, and this is one of the homes of the Starfinder Society, which I don't know if this adventure presupposes that you are, but these are these pregens, your characters are all Starfinder Society. And as such, maybe you're coming back from an off-world adventure. Maybe you're coming back to relax and uh, let some steam off here. Um, in a in a very kind of Blade Runner s cyberpunk cityscape, uh, everyone has neon lights attached to their umbrellas that they they carry around because that's just that's just the style. But yeah, we find you guys having drinks, maybe throwing some darts in the electric prism, a, a very casual atmosphere bar where the I mean there's like a whole line of gimmicky drinks that you can order that have like dry ice in them. It attracts transient starship crews, uh tourists, even some some higher ups from the eye, as well as Starfinders such as yourself. It is located in a Drifter's End, uh, around the corner from the Lorespire complex where you maybe just gave like a, a situation report to Chiskis or another Starfinder captain. Um, as uh, as Patrick, by the way, you've uh, got a uh, an automatic twenty oh, coming in. Oh no! From from anonymous. It's, it's so early from anonymous. Oh man! Did you donate I mean, it? What are Jabert? you people doing helping him? I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's from Ray. Like, it's like, from Ray. That's probably from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I, I I can't I can't really see who oh no like, no the donors are right now but <laughs> not not from from Wraith but from someone who loves me thank you so much wait it's not nope oh well we've got some other ones from from Wraith but hey, who loves you uh well if they if they <laughs> chosen to remain anonymous like who am I to to argue with <laughs> it was you wasn't it, it was you love you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Do you think Patrick loves Patrick? Yeah, no, I'm I'm the I'm the last person that would donate to myself. Uh, no, I'll, I I miss Tyler being here because his uh, 
mom has donated to him in the yeah. past and like the note was yeah like, his, his mom is a saint of a human being and yeah she has donated very very nicely in the past yeah, anyway this beautiful. this adventure starts here in this bar and as you are served a new round of drinks your character's just sitting around I don't know, scrolling through your data pads or, or chilling out, listen, vibing to some some music here. You know, neon laser shows kind of crisscrossing in the 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 vape smoke at the top of the cantina. Um, you, you you're trying to maybe drown out the so- sound of of uh, freighter crews singing and dancing in, in the back of the the bar here. <laughs> no, it's not jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Bird, stop it! Uh, oh no, we've got it. We've got it. <laughs> in the chat. Uh, Brahm Sogma. I'm sorry if I got Brahm's that wrong. Uh, n- uh, not me donating to Patrick to see the world burn. Yes, Brahms. <laughs> Thanks, Brahms. What are you doing, Brahms? I love it. I thought we were tight. We were boys. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, get, getting back to the adventure. Um, there's there's some loud tourists as well trying to get drinks from an automatic bartender, and coming out from the back of the bar with with your drinks past maybe some caution tape and some plastic hanging up and what looks like an addition to the bar, you see the electric prisms owner a dragonkin named Trazzy, Traz High, Trazzles whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Trazzle Dazzle. And if you don't know, a dragon again is just what it, it sounds like. Uh, is a Starfinder race that you can play. It's just a large uh, humanoid like dragon. It's just like a dragon <laughs> that they you are can play. Uh, messed up, overpowered, especially if you give them a reach weapon. Oh, I had one in a in a game uh, that Cody was uh, GMing. This was years ago now, but um, yeah, I had a dragonkin and. Uh, yeah, I had reach. It was really fun. I think I drew her at some point, right? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. And was I was cool. playing with a techno a melee technomancer and they had reach. So we would just get around everybody and we we were like, you know, we had like 30 feet of like cover. Yeah, it was great. It's, it's I think it's because of, uh, I think Sprouts started off as Dragonkin. Obviously it wasn't called Sprouts then, but that, <laughs> I was initially thinking about making a character like that, and then Rebecca made her character, and I was like, oh. Uh, he, here's some art for for Dragonkin, and this was so gonna, cool. This was gonna be a friendly NPC, but I've already got a natural twenty, so I think I think he makes an attack roll. Right? No, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he starts off. I, I mean, I the art has to start out. He's got like a plasma cannon in the art. I feel like I've got to use it. It's like hold on. Did you say this, this is the can, this is the cantina owner? Yes, it is. So he. Okay. he right, is so, so which one of us didn't tip? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, clearly this gets a. A one star review on TripAdvisor now, right? No, uh, uh, Tres- I would assume the Witch Warper didn't dip. Oh, wow, that's that's a bit of a uh, assumption there. Uh, Trassy pulls. I up. mean, because they stiffed me on all these skills, so I'm assuming they stiff on drinks too. Trassy pulls up a chair two sizes too small for this large creature, and maybe turns around, uh, sitting sitting his arms draped over the the back and elbows clawed elbows like on your table clunk clunk uh, just, so he's a slater kin just throws his his huge scaly <laughs> elbows down and say oh Hello, kids oh you guys drink up uh you look like you come back from a good mission here but uh i uh, i gotta say i got them troubles that you hear about so much so if you're interested uh, I got a proposition for you. It's, it's paying Tell work. us more. Tell us more, Uncle Trazzle Dazzle. <laughs> oh, yeah, as well. Uh, if, if you're looking to make money, this this is a ways to do it. Uh, a dwarf named uh, Ven Carsis came in last night with a huge chunk of uh, Horalcum. Horalcum. <laughs> You've said it. Yes. Anyway, this dwarf said he hit a major vein on an asteroid. And uh, he owned a, a mining claim to it, he said. So he ran up this huge bar tab and was bragging the whole time and getting other folks to come over, drink on his tab, and uh, and look at this star metal he says worth a fortune. Uh, anyway, he, he first he feigned like he didn't want folks' attention, but uh, he gave in and 
I tell you, people couldn't give him their credits fast enough. They wanted, they wanted it on his action. They fawned over him, and eventually I got a little, I got a little suspicious myself, so I went on over to, I went on over to take a look at that nugget, you know. Got my peepers on that nugget, is, and got a closer look. It was just a, it was just a, a lump of, of stone painting like her alcohol. You gotta peep the nug. I peeped that nug quite I'm well. Kind of, it's kind of a, a shame we don't have a cosmic crit without context. Like <laughs> right. channel or something. Oh no, you you did one with Tyler one time that was pretty great. I peeped Which... the nug. <laughs> I peeped it so well. It was, it was just, a, just a painted nug. Scarcely it was a, a painted nug, nug I say. <laughs> Navazi. Uh, well, that dwarf done seen me poking at it, as I was, because I wasn't just peeping, I was a poking. And, uh, yeah, he, he instigated, he pushed a guy and instigated a brawl, and, uh, yeah, there's, there's a group of, of pathras that were sworn to buy some more of that rock from him, and they broke out into a fight, because he said they gotta deal with his other, uh, Vesk miner at another table, and, uh, anyway, a big brawl! And I, it was all I could do to, to stop folks from tearing each other limb from limb. But as I was stopping them, I didn't notice. Well, this Van Carsis, he done slipped away in the fight. And now I'm out a huge bar tab. I won't tell you a full amount, but it's it's big. And I'm behind. I've got repair costs. I'm, I'm opening up a new wing over here. I might lose a bar because of this, this brawl. This, this unpaid tab. Boy, that's a big tab. Yeah. So if you can recover it, if you can get this Van Carsis back here alive to settle up, well, I'd be willing to give you a finder's fee. Uh, and and it, that's you know, just ten percent of this finder's fee, mind you, for 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 what I'm owed. Uh, that'd be two hundred credits per person per star finder. <laughs> I don't oh, know yeah, how this to make is level one. We're supposed to be right. impressed by that. I, I, I don't know how to make the sound effect where my eyes pop out of my head. Like, <laughs> Three God. digit credits. Two hundred credits. Cuscadi Kes- probably looks a little bit confused. He's like, I feel like I've been this level before, <laughs> long ago. Oh, oh, the oh boy, which Warper's like, has I've anyone been in this seen universe. that movie Groundhog Day? <laughs> Uh, oh god did, did, did the did the scene open up with i got you babe playing on the on the jukebox right, exactly um that was but it was like the jizz version of that song so <laughs> yeah. i got jizz babe <laughs> i got you got you got babe it's gonna be impossible to cut out all the jizz talk <laughs> You just keep and, and, coming and we do it every week. So, we I mean, all over the place. This we just like... have to remind: this is once again the official music cantina music of Star Wars. This That's is canon. Disney says this is okay. It's true. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Goodness gracious! Maybe I mean, you know, maybe Patrick, we could release a jizz free version, like just <laughs> as a as a bonus. Yeah, never getting past that PG thirteen. Uh... Right in there. Yeah, so are you guys are you guys okay to take up this mission? Because if not, I don't have anything else for you tonight. This is this is it. <laughs> this, yeah, I, this yeah that, 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 that's a no for me. Yeah, yeah Navasi also doesn't have anything else planned. She was just going to hang out at this cool uh, this cool dive bar, uh, but might as well go on an adventure. Crocky, uh, let's get in there and get, get a fight going. going. Yeah. <laughs> what what do you say? You want a fight going? Let's go get that money, eh? <laughs> oh, what, what is that? That's that's Valero. <laughs> is, that is that your uh what 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 is he supposed to be? My name's Valero. <laughs> I'm from Castro. Valero's a gas station. Yes. <laughs> Crikey. Uh, right, so um how would you like to start this in Restimigation? Um let's see. Uh uh Perhaps uh, we could try to locate, try to figure out where the rock is that he was he was talking about. Or I mean, I mean, maybe there wasn't even a rock in the first place. But uh, yeah, do you, I mean, do you want to look around like the the bar where they he yeah. was he was up 
uh, set up with you know set up. yeah maybe yeah, i think i think I'll, I'll i'll chat people up and see if anybody remembers or has any re- remembers anything about this this crazy personality um yeah so i mean this was this was last night so i mean you, uh, <laughs> there, there's no one there's, there's no one here now that was there last <laughs> this, night who's still drinking <laughs> from the night before 13 hours <laughs> later i assumed that i was i disagree i disagree i assumed that i was like back. in the bar at like six in the morning like <laughs> yeah no you finish your drink you go home you have I mean, to sleep you can go that right be zamir can that can that be that guy <laughs> i mean that's that's how most npcs work in video games <laughs> yeah, right they, <laughs> go, they they walk to their house they sleep they go back uh wake up in the morning go right back <laughs> can um, can valero use an intimidate check on the entire room just to to like hey who's that there v- valero valero thank you hey is that what you say to be intimidated it's plain who's hey, out there who's that there <laughs> who's out there Boy, i know what of you was in last night who was there uh i mean tell me yeah who who wants to make the first roll do you do you want to uh, i i i, I I want to do an intimidate check <laughs> to just yell at some tourists and or miners that are. In can the I pool. can I back him yes. up by like raising my what do I have Doshko in the air? Yeah, I mean I guess. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, so that's a six, yeah. which I have oh. I have plus six, so that's a twelve intimidate. <laughs> and you got a a bonus perhaps from Rebecca. Do you want to do you want to roll an assist? Yeah. Oh, I make it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> scaring off the, the tourists who are around the automatic bartender in the bar here. Um, they they scamper away and uh, obviously <laughs> our our good friend uh, Trazi is like, Whoa, what are you doing there? <laughs> Those folks weren't here last night. What are you? I mean, uh, I was I was here. I was I was busy. You know, uh, serving serving drinks and crudités, uh, but uh, this Vart Van Carsis, I've heard through the grapevine, uh, did the same scam at two other local bars, Graffs around the corner, and then the Nightfall uh, about uh, three blocks down. But uh, uh, per- perhaps we should go and uh, uh, check out this Graffs and. Uh... See if anyone over there knows anything about this sketchy uh, fellow. Yeah. Uh, do, do you guys want to investigate here before you before you leave? Because you've, you've cleared out the the crime scene, as it were. Does anybody want to roll perception? Yeah, maybe a perception check to sort of look for some some loose pebbles or whatnot. Tess and I will also utilize perception. Whoop. Is there anybody that can't utilize perception right now? <laughs> oh boy, you've oh, already boy. intimidated. That's your one roll, unless you want to <laughs> donate a, a get a reroll and do something else, maybe. Oh, and Four, we should, we should also 12. tell folks uh, tonight we're going old fashioned. Cascadai sees nothing. We're 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 uh, we're using uh, character sheets and doing all the math instead of letting roll twenty do it for us. Well, so. you are indeed, and I guess I should mention i also have boop uh i have the character sheets up if anybody has a question in the chat about who or what they're playing here's zamir and uh let's let's compare zamir to obaziah so we've got yay c k c 12 and 13 obaziah is 14 and 60 <laughs> and what uh, 16 HP SP in total versus 21 so they're not too far off they're not crazy far off but womp uh we've got some good rolls here Let's good rolls not uh, good enough uh, what <laughs> okay. what's your uh... <laughs> well we've got a one from Geskadai who's definitely a, a bit too preoccupied he was gonna yeah he was gonna start looking around but then like he just picked up the, his little his little grub and started like going boogie 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 does anybody want to <laughs> does anybody wanna use a re-roll on this or does anybody want to uh i mean drew and rebecca you can roll a perception if you'd like as well i'm not a monster I'm not a monster you guys i mean i don't have it as a skill <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah hard roll I mean, it yeah, I mean, our best it looks it like a twelve. Roll a twenty, so. right? 
Yeah. Oh, boy. for me. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that one person rolled over a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that, this, this is what we're here for. We've got donations. Uh, you all have a Bird re-roll. We're drunk, Patrick. You all have a re-roll if you want to use it right now. But I, I think the highest that we've gotten so far is 12. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. I'll, I'll use a re-roll. I'll do it. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, you're probably the most perceptive, yeah. Seth. So I am. Yeah. I've got yeah, high wisdom. I'm a mystic. Eight, yeah. <laughs> there yeah, we go. That's, that's twenty-four. Like hit. That's more like it. Um, just a wee bit better. I a little bit. A little bit better than a one. Just a yeah. wee bit better. Uh, right. So we we we've learned a couple of things because as Keskadai is perhaps, you know, looking around, looking like. Uh, around the stools, around some of the tables, you can you can tell like parts of the the bar has been. Maybe you can smell the the cleaner as there, there's been some some blood stains recently cleaned up here. But yeah, uh, taking a look around on the ground, you find a cred stick, and it has a um, kind of like a stylized star or I guess sun pattern on it um, that that looks like it was perhaps minted for, for some specific reason or for some specific area. Uh, you know, oh, is it an NFT? <laughs> no, but you know that like Abadar Core makes their own cred sticks, sticks their own like encoded ones that has the the corporate but, logo but, but on this it. But is, this is not Abadar. No, no. Um, can I make a culture check? And I have a, my, a minus five to DCs when recalling knowledge about the criminal underworld. So um, I think this might this might a- apply there. Apply, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go, can go I ahead. assist on that? Can I assist on that culture check? Yeah, is this? Oh yeah, Navashi's got some culture. She's... Got some couture. Oh boy, I'm gonna re-roll that one. Oh, what'd you roll? Because <laughs> I rolled a natural two, total of eight. Toot toot in the chat, everybody. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, it's meant to be toot toots forever. Double toots. Toot toots. You got toot toot toots. I, I done tooted uh, the rudiest of the tooties. Toot, Let toot. me see if I can get my papers on that. Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, my God. gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, guys. Um, I kind of well, see how the chips are falling here. Do we want to just, like, throw so we can all play Elden Ring? <laughs> Stop it, Sam. No Elden Ring for you. <laughs> Uh, I, hold on, hold on. I, I have a question. I, I, I got this. Oh. Or I just want to say to Wraith in the chat that um, we do know about the 50 points you gave us to add to our rolls. So you guys don't forget that that's an option. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. that's they what don't they were. have to re-roll. I'm pretty sure that's what they're. Oh, yes. Technically, yeah, the 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 bonuses that Wraith gave out could be re-rolls, or you could do a plus five for a, a oh, roll. Drew gets yeah. a plus five. What do you mean? He has a uh, five dollar donation. Oh, just Drew. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I am also a pencil and paper nerd. Drew gets a plus five. Hey, how wonderful! Oh, just because Drew, just because Drew printed how his nice out for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. So <laughs> fancy Drew with his printer and well, printer ink. <laughs> before and before we, we get to your role here, Miles, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, Veloro Navasi may be looking at this thing. You, I can't tell you what you know about it because you don't know anything. Maybe what you don't know is this doesn't look like anything that you've seen here on Absalom Station. So off-world, perhaps? But, Zamir, what is your culture bonus? With uh, You've rolled a 13 on the dice. Um, Vimir is Miles. Let's see. Um... Wait, I'm Zamir. Zamir, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you ask me? <laughs> what's what's your bonus to culture? You've rolled that as well. Uh, my bonus, plus four. Okay, so that is a seventeen. That is enough. Perhaps you've heard of this place before. Maybe if you've not seen their cred stick, you've maybe seen their logo. This is a casino's logo. Uh, the Venture Solaris, a exo station casino that kind of like faces the the sun, and and soaks up those solar rays. Hmm. 
Um, cool. Uh, uh, well, that's. Uh, do we want to go check out this uh, this other place? Oh, or well. Before before rackets? you go, uh, I'm, I'm, we're just we have so many rolls we've got to handle here. The the fourteens that we rolled in perception a while ago is also enough oh. to notice that there is a, a camera security system here in the the bar that seems to be pointing. There's like one pointed towards the exit, and there's one pointed towards the bartender. Uh, well, Fra- Frazzle Dazzle. Tell us about that. Frazzle Dazzle, can we review the security footage from the night before? <laughs> no, roll diplomacy if you wanna. <laughs> if you wanna see my security system, it'll cost you like thirty bucks to Doctors Without Borders, probably. <laughs> no, of of course you can. So Yay. it's it's a fairly complicated, <laughs> like older system you know, tape deck style. So it will require a computer's check just to, to navigate. Is it when anyone feel uncomfortable using? I am. I am just as good. I'm just as good with computers as I am with uh, diplomacy. So, uh, can I just use that diplomacy roll that I made as a joke for a computer <laughs> Well, oh, I missed it. Oh, did you roll an the 18? Energy, the energy 18 wasn't 18 in the, in the roll, Jabert. It has to have the computer's check energy. Oh, boy, it's got to have that computer yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, right. hey Jabert, I have a question for you. Does uh, What is um, uh, Navasi's uh, expertise set to? I guess it's only level one, so it's only It is a bluff and sense motive right now, mm-hmm. so... Oh, All right, yeah, a you're, 19 on a computer check. You're still rolling rocks. That is enough to yeah. be able to, you know, scrub backwards <laughs> to like figure 13 out how to, hours. How to and... Be kind and rewind. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to rewind. And then, yeah, I mean, you see like a ton of people going like really fast in reverse. like um, That gum you like is coming back into style. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually you do catch what looks like a a, a scrum a fight and you know that's where you're looking at and you get a uh you know enhanced you can like zoom in on i I say that i say that every time while somebody else is like i was like actually manipulating the feed i'm like enhanced (laughs) no no, you're you're manipulating it and telling yourself to do it right right, like nabazi's just sitting there like zoom enhance and we're all just like enhance i don't think she knows how this works (laughs) I was about to say I can I can I can mimic this with the the art for the character, can make it really small, <laughs> to start off with. This joke will pay off. Just give me a minute. <laughs> okay, okay. Do we just like do we just like run? <laughs> no, hold on. Just talk about right, right, yeah, right. let's talk let's, about let's jizz music. The more said. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have a question. Are we Here still we in the first bar? Have we gone to the second bar? <laughs> no, no, we're still in the first bar. bar. <laughs> okay. We're back we three three and we'll get to the second bar. <laughs> Enhance. If we, if we roll well enough right now, we won't have to go to the second bar. Yeah, look, yeah. Here, here, here's the, the <laughs> picture that you see. Enhance. Uh, everything it's is not like, working. Everything is like so far behind on the stream. I'm like, wait, is this actually going to show up? <laughs> yeah, in hands, and you see uh, <gasps> a, a dwarf raising a, a stein, and then you can enhance again to get just make it take up the entire screen. Bro, oh, look at this handsome devil. Oh, my goodness. Look at this handsome Ven- Oh, Ven- you can see what's Roblox. reflected in his mug so that we he can looking, see who he was talking to. He is looking deep into my soul right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a little uncomfortable. He looks yeah, like the Riddler currently it. looks. Mm-hmm. Which is weird, but that's what the Riddler looks like right now. I, I like the mustache, like but I'm a little concerned that they seem that the the mustaches seem to be coming out of his nostrils, but yeah. you know, it's like, but, he's like this, Rebecca. Look, yeah. <laughs> just imagine Don't this. Don't look at me like that. Just imagine right this your soul. Boy. <laughs> this little boy is a, a dwarven ale. Yeah. Do, you, do you do you have like a do you have like a a broom you can get the bristles off of, Patrick, and just kind of tape it? Just to your stick face? them up. Stick them up your nostrils. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the yeah, real wall rest thing going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, right. So that that's what you see, and maybe taking a look through the footage it uh, you can't find any footage there's another camera pointed at the exit you don't see the dwarf leaving the bar <gasps> he's in he's still in the, <laughs> the dwarf is inside the bar. <laughs> he's inside the bar <laughs> the 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 robotic bartender's like boop boop bop definitely not a dwarf <laughs> <laughs> boop boop beep bop 
Yeah. Dang it. I wish I I wish I remembered his name. I was like, is this the guy who played R2D2? Uh per, perhaps perhaps who came Kenny Long. Perhaps, hey, this, perhaps this dwarf uh, went out the back door. Uh yeah, you you can take a look at you know, the, like I said, there's some dwarf. there looks like there's some construction that has stalled in the back of the bar. Um, but there doesn't seem to be an exit back there. It seems to be kind of... Oh, this is a fire off. hazard and a half, isn't it? Well, <laughs> good thing I'm an outlaw and not and not a fire marshal. Wait a minute, check, check your character's backstory. Maybe you are. <laughs> oh, no, Navasi's a member of OSHA. I'm oh, shutting this place it. down. The adventure's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> what about Dr. Thaba? <laughs> they're over. They're going to be borderless. For, or uh, no, they're uh, going to be bordered. That's what they don't want. <laughs> right. Putting borders on those doctors. There's borders everywhere now. Um, uh, I, 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 Navasi is out of ideas here. Well, where where could a dwarf hide inside of a bar it's that a, is not mm, outside of a bar? It's a mystery. Does anybody else want to? Uh, does anybody have a role? Oh, you in think a keg. Might. <laughs> you just gotta start knocking all the kegs. It's like let's just throw this one down the river. It surely doesn't have any dwarves hiding in it. Uh, did we check the bathroom? You know that's the kind of thinking that makes Opazaya MVP of this team. You just go crush the bathroom door, <laughs> intimidate yep. the bathroom. The tourists is in there having a bad time, uh, but no dwarf. Zero dwarfs. So there, so there is not a back door. No. I mean, did we Are check there... behind the bar? I mean, yeah, you guys can take a look around. Do you, do you want to go back to the the feed, see if anything else is amiss or awry? There's there were no other cameras else. elsewhere yeah, in the bar. Were there, like, in the kitchen area? Not or... a single other camera. Hmm. Yeah. It's a mystery that you guys have to solve. It's an odd security system, if you ask me. But this doesn't do you very much good, man. Not a good one. Gotta, gotta expand. I mean, I've, see. I've got a, I've got a camera on the liquor, and I've got a camera on the door. I, what else, what else do you need from me? Uh, I definitely don't have secret cameras in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's illegal. Navasi, <laughs> why would you suggest that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dragon. Um, let's see. Uh, is there a storage room, perhaps, that we could that we could examine? No. What about trash can? You look in the trash can. Zero dwarfs. No dwarves in the trash can. Are there air ducts? Do we have air conditioning in this place? That just makes too much sense. Yes, but it is definitely not diehard regulation uh, sized. There's no John McClane's. Yeah, dwarves are, are medium sized uh, creatures. Can have we checked the ice machine? I mean, just keep naming. We're just gonna start naming cavity-sized things. things. Uh, what about what about like? Uh, are there? These are, are all there, real things we've. Can, you, I, can I, we pull I, up the? Can we pull up the the booth seats to see if they're hiding in the booth? Or as Chup has just said in the chat, uh, any hollow bits on the floor that maybe we have just Millennium Falcon? Start smashing this place. <laughs> We're just looking for on the every floor. recess. In the <laughs> yeah, the dragon gets over like, what's going on? Where are you, dwarf? We'll find you. <laughs> No, someone else. It might. Be some... It might not result in anything, but oh, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn on detect magic. Ooh, that's good idea. Well, you, I've got that too. I think your magical capabilities. You don't. You don't get any any hairs on the back of your neck sticking up. From, God, I would hope not. From what's happening here, um, yeah. Does anybody want to go back to the footage? Maybe look at the. Yeah, the... let's 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 take a let's take a closer look and see. At that what time, if we look, watch the background. There, there's there's only the there's only about fifteen people in the bar, and and like this is near closing time, so you can like literally watch everyone leave the bar if you want. Yeah, I mean, right? I mean, it's yeah. If I can isolate the the moment that we that we lose the dwarf, that I can... <laughs> is anybody carrying a big sack around their shoulder as they? That's walk a great up? great question. Is there a Santa Claus looking fellow? <laughs> <laughs> Someone walking out with just like a huge travel on uh, piece of luggage. It's like just like kicking. a wheeled, this is a really nonchalant. It's kind of pushing. Yeah. Um, go. Uh, everyone can make me a perception check. Another 
little perception check, see what you notice about the exit footage. Footage of the exit. I'm never going to roll anything on a perception Jesus. other than the eight. No. Toot toot in the chat. Zamir is not, <laughs> not uh, playing around. Zamir sucks. Goodness. Drew, drew any bonus to yours? Uh, yeah, that, that would be a 15. Wait, is this a new roll, Seth? Yes, is this your Yes, 21? it is a new roll. It was 21. Okay. Yes, you do. Yeah, definitely zero dwarves left this bar. And as you're looking through, though, there is a figure you did not see on the footage of the, the, the fight of the rest of the bar. Um, a uh, An elf woman does exit the bar. But you don't. Somebody using some magics to disguise themselves. Mm. Or just a really good disguise kit. Or just a good you cast just really good at magic, it. though. At the footage, I mean, I mean, if, if they're not, if they're not, if they're not still here, then it would. <laughs> can I can I detect magic on the video footage? Here, okay. here I'm, is. I'm can I sense motive on the footage? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. When I look at a picture of this elf person that Patrick has just put in, we we can tell this person's up to no good, right? I mean, I don't mean to judge. But like, <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like you're judging. You may not mean to, but you're doing it. I mean, the, they're, they're, this person ain't evil. <laughs> There were in like, like a, a, a they a, might just be as a rent of movie a mini turtle neck. It's like a half turtle neck. I thought this was all it's skin. like a skin tight turtle. Neck. I know. What is yeah, it's like turtle spandex. Neck? I wouldn't. It's not a look. I wouldn't it's trust really them. Not working because of that half turtle neck. Not anything about their evil looking smile and red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she's like she's like space Cruella Deville. Like no, like, she is not. Uh, no, 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 no! I, I, in the in the terms where like, you look at her and you're like, "Oh yeah, that's a bad person." <laughs> yeah, but so I'm 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 that's I automatically think that it's a trick. It's a trick, then, right? Like she's obviously evil, so she must not be evil. Like that's my yeah. No, I'm I'm with Rebecca there. <laughs> this person does have resting villain face, but <laughs> we shouldn't. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what if what if they have like this this disorder that makes it so that everything they say is just inherently antagonistic, no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> After every sentence, they go. Yeah, that's their oh. natural laugh. Is oh, just... <laughs> that's your role. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you for saving me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trooper got a. I asked for theories in the chat. Uh, skin commander in skin coats, or the dwarf wasn't a dwarf, but this elf. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Mystery there, solved. Is there somebody that looks like two dwarves stacked on top of each other, wearing a trench coat, walking out that we miss? I'm looking for a real chunky elf. Uh, give me another culture roll and see. I'll tell you what your characters may or may not know about. You know, dwarves that are also elves. I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, so Patrick, I will say I also have a minus five to reduce the culture check of uh, to recall combat fighting styles and gladiatorial traditions. Oh well, Does I'm I'm glad you brought that up uh, for no reason. <laughs> well, because there was a bar fight. There was a what bar would the bar fight, fight have to do with the combat? Because maybe I recognize that that's an elven fighting style. I want to take a reroll away from Drew for that. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should. I think I, th- I think some. If you pay fifteen dollars um, right now. We will give a minus five to his next roll. <laughs> Our cultural <laughs> ambassador Navasi Jabert has rolled a natural nineteen, and you've, you've got the bonus. And I'm sure you have some uh, <laughs> Im- important and or useful negative five uh, uh, <laughs> ability to to add to this. But no, that is more than enough to know that there are not many species, many aliens on Absalom Station that are capable of changing their forms outside of using magic. Mm-hmm. But there is one, and there are really um, very few on, on the station. They are called Astrozoans. They are oh, shapeshifters yes. that can spontaneously just kind of mold their their bodies, their forms, change the pigment of their flesh to imitate any creature of a similar size. So a medium-sized creature mm-hmm. like a, an elf or a dwarf. I knew it was Harald. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, we're looking for maybe we're looking for an Astrozoan then. They I are, knew those eyes looked shifty. They are like yeah. starfish kind of people with eyes in their where elbows would be. Yes. Mm-hmm. Elbow eyes, if you will. 
to allow Harald to, to look like an absolute nightmare to, to anybody who saw him the first time. Yeah, and, and probably your favorite character to draw just because oh, it was great. so confusing. To... Yeah, it's 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 fun. <laughs> human human I just uh... um all right, yeah, so this is uh let's see, so so we so if we go to the next bar, we're not exactly looking for a dwarf that looks like this this fella. There you go. We're looking for we're looking for could be anybody. Yeah. A- anybody out there trying to run a run a run a show. Yeah, so there's two other bars that supposedly were hit. Trazzy um Oh, and, and Trazzy, by the way, a- as you leave, brings out a small box and is like, Alright, make sure you bring him back alive. I can't do nothing against this dwarf or whatever you say it is. If uh, they can't pay their tab if they're dead. Uh so it gives you a tier one sedative, a dose tier one sedative and a merciful weapon fusion seal so you can slap that on the weapon and uh have no no penalty for negative uh for for non lethal uh, i'll take it yeah Um, thank you trez tuzumab we'll we'll bring we'll bring him (laughs) them back in uh uh, patrick yeah undead is is there is there a trash can nearby yes (laughs) I'll throw the sedative in there because that's where it belongs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, in like the onset, like twenty minutes or something. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely useless. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I thought that was twenty. What? Really? Sedatives are. <laughs> it's not twenty minutes, but it's like it might be ten minutes. It's I'm like sorry. it's just for GMs. <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> you do it in front of the dragon, and he's like, here, here, here. I would have just taken that you guys back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Yes, uh, Wraith, you gotta bring them back alive. That's what the dragon can says. Uh, do you guys want to split up and go to these two other bars and ask around for either a dwarf and or Are you trying to elf? split our party? Oh, I'm I was going to suggest. Right I was going to suggest that instead of going to those other two bars, what if we anticipated the next bar that they might hit? Oh, thinking hmm. outside the box. If there's, here. Maybe if there's a pattern. Maybe if yeah. There's a pattern, yeah. Can... So if they went to this bar that was. I don't know, two blocks down from the original bar, and then the next one was two blocks down from that bar. What's this down? Is, this is certainly something that Starfinder uh, uh, society <laughs> played. My, my logic is, like, way far beyond what Starfinder uh, I mean, I mean, adventures I mean, you're, 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 are you're working on You're working on f- further levels than... <laughs> you're, 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 you're trying Rebe- to go outside Rebecca has the box. transcended Starfinder. Trying to go outside of the box, and the box is elastic. And it's, it's just pulling your I mean, right back can, in. Yep, can Zamir yep. use infinite worlds to like peep into like where this guy is? <laughs> that is not how that ability works. <laughs> well, it should be. If it's called infinite worlds, it should be. Uh, I, I got the hot deets on sedative, by the way. Yeah, I was just looking oh, that no. up too. So it's it's an extra one d four of one d four non lethal damage once. But yeah, and, and you have to inject them with it. So it's yes. <laughs> so you still have to make an attack roll to get them. Yes. Like, it's like that whole young Frankenstein uh, scene where he's like, "Give him the the." You know what I'm talking about with the charades? <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody. You're gonna have to go a little further than. <laughs> give him a little the... further than give him the. Give well, him he's the... being choked by the monster, and he's uh-huh. like playing charades with them to oh, tell oh, them I to see, give him the sedative. Okay, clearly nobody else has watched that movie I, I, a I million times scene, like yeah. I have. Okay. So, sorry, Rebecca. Oh, man, way to out-nerd us all. <laughs> I know. I just read a book about the making of Young Frankenstein, so I'm oh a gosh. super nerd. Yeah. Funny. I was going to say, I, I hope that's not your space. argument against, uh, against being a nerd. Uh, five sites in the chat. Welcome to your first CritterCon. We were just talking before... <laughs> we started recording or maybe it was that right after we hit record it's like this is definitely not someone's first time enjoying our content right <laughs> five solid minutes Wait. of jizz talk so Deidre, Deidre has jizz actually music seen talk. me before and is saying that i look exactly as smug as they imagined and i'm i'm like you've seen me before this is <laughs> this is not new to you <laughs> yeah so he didn't have to imagine very hard <laughs> it's a perfect all right so rebecca's plan is to go where this person has not been seen it's not about it's not about the bars you around. did knock over it's the bars you didn't knock over it's right? yeah, it is it's the jizz theory of of crime okay. solving all right i'm gonna it's fine we can split the party and no go to, no no, no. I'm, this, I'm going to this is your ball. idea rebecca it's all happening right. did uh, i'm um up in the dc 
or you're wasting some time here uh, for either a culture or diplomacy check, maybe to ask around or do some snooping. Who wants to who wants to lead off some diplomacy or culture checks to I'll s- just roll around the station? <laughs> I could probably assist Navasi with a with a diplomacy roll. I definitely don't want to be the lead on that one. Okay, so yeah, I'll I'll, I'll roll a diplomacy and I'll I'll have uh, Keskadai backing me up with some uh, maybe some some mind reading help or something. Cool. Hey, twenty. Um, hey, twenty two. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to make it a little bit harder, but I think that is going to be an assist to get um, a great idea, Obazaya. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Those other nerds that said we should go to the the bars that have already been knocked over. Those were total losers. We should we should never do that. Great idea. Just go into the hard mode uh, of this. Yeah. Going going to this bar. um, The. I can't think of anything but the fusion queen. <laughs> yeah, why not the fusion queen? I, I definitely hey. wasn't thinking of something that rhymes with fizz <laughs> in the title. The fusion queen down on the the spike, yeah, the, right? It, oh, hey, yeah. hey, let's we we got no. a couple of. Did we all think of the queen? same joke at the same time? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, going down there, you find it, uh, an elf. Tried to get in, but was denied entry because someone someone thought something was up. So they saw a fairly suspicious elf walk into an outside bathroom and then a dwarf walk out of it and try again. And when they couldn't, they, they left and went down the street. Multiple people saw this. Uh, maybe it's the other way. Maybe an elf <laughs> left the bathroom, tried again, and went to a shuttle leaving Absalom Station for Venture Solaris, the solar casino. Bum, bum, bum. And it leaves from Absalom Station, this shuttle, twice daily. Do we know where it returns? Here? The shuttle, like, this round trip, or? Yeah, I'm assuming it's a round trip Mm -hmm. thing. Like, when will it be returning? There's like so many dots. Ten, ten minutes from now. <laughs> you oh have my gosh. Perfect timing. It goes Let's every 12 hours. So that, the, yeah, they left 12 hours ago. Okay. Do you guys want to head for the shuttle? Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, it's shuttle in time. <laughs> indeed, it is a... <laughs> have you guys ever been on a casino shuttle? It's a... Uh, it's a luxury ride. Does that, that exist? Oh, oh, they they definitely do between all kinds of locations, hotels, and what have you. Um, it is a luxury ride, a very nice spacecraft that has a smell to it, like an unmistakable. I just got out of the casino <laughs> smell. So there's like some bodily cigarette fluid. smoke. There's yeah. cigarette smoke. It's, it's like bo and cigarettes. Sticky yeah. beer, like beer that has coated surfaces and dried it's not it's not great guys mm. <laughs> but, Who doesn't do that? Bussies. yeah there's there's tourists that are on the shuttle um aliens from all different sections of the galaxy you see what looks like a pretty tough group of toughs like gang kind of guys that uh you know they've got like station wear armor and stuff on too maybe one is like casually flipping a knife and gives you the old stink eye just, nah. oh those are the tough tucks uh, they know that station wear armor it doesn't confer any kind of bonus whatsoever right it's level one seth it does <laughs> enough they've, they've got they've got great dexterity it gives you <laughs> environmental <laughs> protection on it miles they've miles, miles. collars yeah. popped up which yeah. gives them a plus five no i'm sorry what what's what's the the level one armor it's like free the uh, uh, the maybe the skin the carbon skin second or skin second skin yeah maybe, oh, maybe that's maybe yeah yeah you put on a bucky's hat said yeah. nothing I said the... I said something about Bucky's and no yeah. one said something about Bucky's. Oh, one of these tough toughs definitely has a on a a, 
Avalon Put a sheets, Station. A Sheets t-shirt? Bucky's <laughs> hat. So you know they, they've, they've got <laughs> nothing <laughs> left to live for. Both excellent gas Wearing stations. <laughs> it pans. It pans. It shows somebody with a Bucky's hat, someone with a Sheets t-shirt, and then someone with like, I don't know, Wawa booty shorts. Like, just... Yeah. Um, this is yeah. already the best. The best. We're, 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 in like, we're in like a circus, circus leather, Letterman's jacket. <laughs> it's a fairly uneventful ride, though. You guys can pop on some um, portable movies of Absalom's f- favorite stars: Knack, uh, Feldspar, and, and Rami Quindar. My favorite is the Rachel. <laughs> The, the the TV show the Rachel it's just about the a Rachel. sentient haircut, <laughs> right? <laughs> so. That's where I got my the idea for my haircut. Goodness gracious, yeah, no, no uh, Navasi has to look away. It's like I definitely have never seen this before. This isn't my favorite program <laughs> ever. Um, I have to make a culture check to not to not recite the all the words to the scene. Yeah, but eventually this the shuttle will spit you out into a a, a solar facing space station casino that you know you're you're, you're walking uh, across a a green marble floor at the entrance here, and there's all the the sounds and senses the bling 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 uh, of casino machines going off. Um, an inlaid star on the floor glows brightly, and you can tell this is like. <gasps> um, reflecting the solar light through like a series of tubes <laughs> and it's the internet it doesn't uh, just here, grow everyone. with it's the packs of tubes world suns it is like magnified and um there's a symphony of electronic game things kind of blending in with chatter and singing <sighs> and, this, these uh, and this jazz star music there's the someone day. playing jazz music upstairs Hooray. Uh, uh yeah the star and laid on the floor is it the same as we found on that cred stick uh yeah so that's the symbol for the venture solaris and oh right we already figured um, that out. right unfortunately there doesn't seem Navasi is just figuring this out there's like five credits on this cred stick once you like check oh. it in a machine so it's like this is definitely someone that's probably lost just about everything uh. right, no, 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 I, I, I just i just go ahead and like, like stick it in the machine and pull a, pull a slot real quick let's just see if i let's see if i uh if I hit it big here, roll, roll, roll a twenty or yeah, D one hundred or no, nah, no, it's nothing. <laughs> you can re-roll. You, you got to re-roll if you want to nah. make some money. <laughs> uh, I think, I mean, there are all kinds of rules for like gambling in uh, in Starfinder books, but I think it would be like, <laughs> but a fifteen is not going to cut. A it. slot machine <laughs> would be like three D ten, and you're trying to get like a straight, like one two three, oh, or yeah. like three of a kind. Oh yeah, uh, let's let's try that then. Book no. two of the the absolutely oh, oh your money's gone. <laughs> oh no, my five credits now. <laughs> I blew the family money. Oh gosh, guys, I don't know what to do. Uh, what would you guys like to do here? Can we look around for an elf or a dwarf that we have seen before? Uh, that's easy mode, Drew. I don't even think you should. I think you should try a smell. Just close your eyes and sniff them out. <laughs> I think having noticed how. There's a certain quality to their eyes. I feel like Obazaya would just go around to all of the patrons at the casino just and grabbing their heads, yeah, just into like their grab eyes. them by the jaw, just like <laughs> look at me, smile at me. Are you, Show are you me a shapeshifter? You have to tell me if you're a shapeshifter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I would uh, go around and start chatting folks up and see if seeing if there's any. Uh, sketchy rough customers around here that uh, that anybody is uh bumped into just try to like work the room work it you do do i need to make you guys roll for this let me double check no no you no, I, I i like Ray's idea to be romantic Ooh, yeah <laughs> so like just like walking around like giving out a vibe well, cry. I'm already looking deeply into everyone's eyes. What more right. do you want? Yeah, that's <laughs> awkward. Rebecca. Does, does, does somebody want to walk around? That. That's awkward. Does somebody want to walk around with a sign that says like "I want horror calcum"? <laughs> <laughs> looking for horror calcum deals. That's not a bad idea. All right, so easy yeah. work. I'll go around with like a random Gaming device condition. and say. This is a shapeshifter de- detecting device. It better I've not got be plus any eight diplomacy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. 
I'm just gonna chat oh, people up and fuck that. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, Whoa, mind. Jabert. Or uh, Miles. Sorry, it's usually Jabert. <laughs> It was, it was immediately followed by a low Jabert. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Um, yeah, how, how long do you guys want to do this? Because, like, hours pass. You, you don't see an elf, you don't see a dwarf, you don't see an Astrozoan here on the... I mean, the floor is massive. You know, you're looking over, like, course of, like, a couple of football fields, but... Through hundreds of people, you don't see anyone with his eyes, you don't see anyone with the kind of an odd look about them, you know, maybe your eyes are glancing over like parties of like, you know, three different witch weirds or something and things like that. If you're looking for like a single person, you don't see anybody here that, that sets off your alarm bells. Could, could we do something to like draw them out? Like talk loudly about something we know they're after. Any, any anything you choose here, unfortunately, does not work, and you you're 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 missing a couple hours before you realize I mean, they're definitely not here. They're not here on the main floor, but you do see a staircase leading up to the VIP section, and by process of elimination, if they didn't take the shuttle off the station, they have to be there. Yeah, let's. I mean, maybe we can bluff our way into the high roller suite. Well, I'm taking us to the map now. Oh, good. Oh, oh no. Oh, maps. Oh, no. <laughs> taking us to the map so you can see. Wait, I see them, guys. <laughs> all them aliens. <laughs> Look at all them aliens. The aliens. The Almlians. Alm- Olivians. What? The- Oh no, oh, I'm going to win a do, do, do. Oh. I'm on Fantasy Mars. Oh, so is, huh, I see crap I, so, <laughs> I am so sorry. I will be Link. right back, okay? Yeah, well, these guys, uh, these guys are my. Oh, I'm sorry. There's three security bots before you can move on in, uh, Zamir to the. Yeah, but, I, I, he, but he sees a craps table, so he's like. Phew. Oh, right. So, yeah, you, you still have he's to. Too, he's too fast, too furious. That there is no. <laughs> There's a, unless you have some kind of power to change the world around you. Uh, there, Wait, there's don't I? Just like he'll tap into an alternate universe where he rolled yeah. exactly what he wanted to roll. I cast infinite worlds. No, you, you've got uh, you've got a bit of a, a barricade. As let me read the description here. The VIP section. Uh, looks hard to get into. Indeed, seated at the desk, there's a half lean cashier transferring credit cards onto Venture Solaris cred sticks that you can see. But indeed, past that is a large avian creature uh, statue that towers over the gaming hall, wings outstretched, three dark eyes looking in your direction, and indeed looking at all the gamblers around you. It seems like there's no point where it can't see. And... Yeah, yeah, there, there is indeed a uh, a requirement to get inside. It, it's like invite only. As as you you come up, you've got some security bots that are like, no, not allowed. <laughs> Go back to the main floor. Um, um, I'll I'll hold up the uh, the cred stick with the symbol on it, and I'll say, we're supposed to be here. The- and uh, I'm gonna try to bluff these these security bots. They oh yeah bl- bluff them without allowing them to check. They're like grabbing at the, the cred stick to scan it, and you're like, no no no, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see, I've well, it's got empty now, but it has to. I have to refill it, but but I'm supposed to. I have to refill it. They told me to refill it over there. Let's see, that's not. There's there's like eight different ways to get your your yourself through here. Is just lying to them. One of them. Um. I mean, Starfinder going to Starfinder. Yes. Uh, this uh, for for GMs that are like, what if they think of this? There's like every scenario potentially here. This one's called Fame. You can pose as wealthy patrons or famous celebrities with a successful bluff, culture, disguise, or applicable profession check. Uh, and that's what you want to try to do, in Navasi, for yeah, the party. yeah, oh, yeah. We're we're gonna. I'm gonna act like we're we're really high rollers, but we're really, but you know, we, you know, we don't like the other casino anymore because they don't have the good tables. So that's why Question. we're over here now. Mm-hmm. Does Navasi even have to pretend 
<laughs> I really I don't like that. Wait, other casino. Yeah, but no. wait. So I'm being told that I can cast infinite worlds on my rolls, and I have extra points that have been awarded to me. So <laughs> I feel like I can just roll past this person. Well, I mean, you could roll a skill to try and get past them, but like, are you talking about like physically roll? Past yeah, literally them? roll past them. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna like like tuck and roll past the the, the security. Why not? Elden Ring says that it works. <laughs> well, let's 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 allow Navasi to try their okay. Let's try this their ability first. Okay, so that was a so I've rolled a. Okay, well, I don't know that why that rolled twice. Oh wait, no, the twelve was a different thing. So fourteen, mm-hmm. and then uh, I'm gonna add my uh, my Im- improvisation good <gasps> bonus oh. die to this. <laughs> Two. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So fourteen would not have been enough, but you you've got it with the the improv. You've got the with the Ooh. bonus improv. Uh, these robots are Love like that level one, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys are high rollers or and or famous uh, infosphere or. S- s- uh, in- Instagram Insta Spacegram <laughs> uh, influencers. In- influencers, yeah. <laughs> Come right in, please. If high roller X or <laughs> famous yeah yeah so they they allow uh zamir and navasi and keskadai in obviously the these very <laughs> sharply dressed and or uh smart looking folks but they they see obazai and veloro and they're like not you <laughs> not no, you i'm 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 a uh a, a bodyguard for navasi yeah you better let us in here yeah, yeah. Let's see. I think a bluff or diplomacy check to maybe that this one's called tag along, tag, tag along with another patron or group, or what else? Uh, can can I assist with the bluff to be like, oh yeah, she's with me? Yeah, I'll, I'll allow that. Or uh, All right, I'll assist. You can you can try to bully them if you want to try and intimidate, um, Rebecca. Ooh. But Navasi, it's not a bluff. I am your bodyguard. <laughs> I will not roll bluff. You cannot make. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do you, do you want to try an intimidate check? Yeah, can I? Yeah, I'm trying to get you guys to fail as many checks as possible, so you got to use them re-rolls. Use mm-hmm. them bonuses. All you... right, here's an intimidate. That's oh, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, the, the, the sea of robots parts, it's like right this way. <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? Uh, do I need to roll an intimidate as well? Nah, nah, that's enough for both of you guys. More than enough. Yeah, so looking around the... The high rollers, there's, you know, 100 credit slot machines. Oh, my goodness. O- up to 100 credits on, on some of these. And... Uh, Is that Gavilar Shknor? <laughs> <laughs> I might be using every uh, alien token. <laughs> Maybe I should move the, the camera back a little <laughs> bit for, for folks. Every token I can here. There's all kinds of aliens from Alien Archive. One... That you can see. I didn't put anybody at the bar. What is wrong with me? Obviously, there's a ton of people up here at the bar. Boop. There's a giant hall on. There we go. They were nice and populated. No, but it doesn't take long before you can see an elven woman uh, at the high stakes table here, right where Navasi and, and Zamir are, are looking on. And all the t- all the seats are taken except one. If if anybody wants to try and sit down, or uh, you seem to have spotted the 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 elf that you saw on the the videotape. I'm gonna I'm gonna sidle over and uh, and uh, blow on her dice. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> uh okay. Let me just go ahead and uh, roll, roll, roll to see if uh, what, she craps what? out or roll what? Oh no, it, it's her turn to bet. So see if that that helped or hurt. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, what is Jabert rolling for that? Oh no, I roll, <laughs> I rolled a nine. So it's like, oh, you didn't really help me out there at all. Um, uh, excuse you, and, and well, well, we all make our own luck. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, I remember, I, I'm, I'm not I remember in a previous 
reality. The Navasi seemed a little bit more put together than this. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> oh, I've, it's, uh, it's been it's been a minute. I'm cutting loose. <laughs> uh, Miles, you seemed really excited about craps. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm leaving that seat open for you, buddy. Okay. I also don't know going how, on. I don't know how craps is played. I'm gonna. Oh, I have <laughs> no <laughs> idea how it's played. Oh, okay. you, you really just chuck those dice as hard as you yeah. can and you try to get them to bounce off the table because the dealers love it when that happens. They absolutely. They, it, it gets them every time. They're so happy that they have to go they, they start stop giggling. the game, get new <laughs> dice. So just a strength check, and you want to get like a ten or above. Um, Patrick, while all of this is going on, Casca mm-hmm. guys antenna are going to kind of like zero in i'm going to utilize boop, 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 boop. I'm going to utilize that detect magic on our on our strange extremely naturally born evil looking friend here um yeah no magical sense about them um but i'm not sure if you rolled it earlier if if uh if you chatted a up with some of your your teammates Th- this isn't a magical fake this is like a thing that their biology can do they can look like if and... they are what we think they are if mm. they are yes but yeah. that they we have a theory they we haven't confirmed it they don't have any magic about them yes yeah, so perhaps that is a not a full confirmation but goes to the theory okay um uh can, can i try to yeah chatter up and uh and sort of get her loosened up and get her to 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 trust me a little bit. Yeah, do you want to make a diplomacy check? Yeah, I want to be like, I want to be like, hey, so uh, you come here often, or is this? Uh, are you from out of town, or what's your sign? That will, what's your sign? That's probably what I went up you, with. Are you from out of space? <laughs> That's <laughs> listen. I, it was. Do you want to be? <laughs> You've got a you got a ten here on a total. I think even if you roll some bonuses, she's like, it, it was very nice of you to come over and. Breathe on my hand while I was holding I those on dice. Her hand again. <laughs> oh no, no, I was okay the first time. Uh, I'm in the middle of something, so if you could just wait your turn, the seat will be free in a few hours. How about that? I stand immediately behind her, waiting for oh, her to stand up. Gracious. Do you, do you guys want to wait until she's done with this table? It seems like they've there's a couple of like empty drinks nearby, so they they seem to have been here for hours. Can I um, detect thoughts on? Uh... On this this individual, uh, can you? <laughs> so I think so you can I've, got Lashinta? Lashinta? I've got Lashenta magic uh, detect thoughts. Uh, so there's a will save to negate it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do but, Do you uh, want to try to do that? Yeah, just to to, to see if I can think of what they're thinking. Uh, yeah, you get you dig into their mind, and they're like. I am so attracted to that that woman, but that was the weirdest thing that they have ever done. I've <laughs> I've ever had happen to me. Why would they think you, you're you're supposed to like lightly blow on them? But that was very hot breath on on my hand. <laughs> that was like gale force. So winds. awkward, and like it, she was trying to blow out a birthday candle. <laughs> it smells like they've been eating shuttle food for twelve hours. <laughs> I've never been more attracted and disgusted in all my life. Anyway, let's focus on the game. You, you've you got this, uh, Van Carsis. You've got this. Uh, Valoro uh, reaches out with limited telepathy to Navasi and says, Ah, oh, you did good there. Try it again. She's in here. All right, I'll sit down. I'm going to I'm gonna try to take your money. Yeah, do you want to play some hands? Yeah. I, I unfortunately I don't have like actual rules, but we can we can use the same uh, rules we're doing for the slot machines. Do do okay. some hands. Are you guys okay with them slow rolling this and maybe playing for a few hours? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, like in real time or no? It's not gonna be real time. <laughs> I knew you're gonna ask. <laughs> I can just play some Elden Ring while that's going on. It's worth it if you bring up Elden Ring one more time. Let, let's play. Let's play hand jibber. Let's play again. So you sit down and she's like, "Oh, you have money, do you? Well, that changes things. So, so there, there is a an extra seat, and some of the other gamblers are like, "Yeah, that's fine. That's whatever. I don't care." Awesome. Hey, we got a ferret in the chat. Welcome. Hey, 
Welcome everyone that's donated and it's taken Real part nice. in our amazing ch- Oh my goodness gracious. <gasps> I I missed looking at the chat for like a minute and we're almost at two thousand dollars. Holy crap. What? <laughs> yeah, we've got a, a very large donation uh from uh or oh, our top donor now. This is not private, right? Nope. Uh Stunt Monkey. Thank you so much. We've got a lot what? of donations for some of the amazing things you can win from our random drawings if you no, go that is a massive donation yeah thank that you so a... much stunt that's great yeah that's crazy and that's, that's of riches let's throw that sh- that number out that uh not the number the um link in the chat again if you guys want to to donate don't donate to anything that stunt just donated to because they <laughs> They oh. earned whatever they <laughs> they win now. Um, I just realized that too, Patrick. Your your logo is backwards on the screen here. Yeah, he's mirrored. My logo for what? Your oh, video is mirrored. Your video. Oh so no. Yeah. Oh, that's that's backwards, backwards. behind me. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. This is so awkward. <laughs> let me just turn. You're bizarro, the, Patrick. Let me turn the screen around real quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I, that's, that's, not, that's not helping totally uh oh it didn't do it gosh um uh maybe we should oh i, I was gonna say yeah donate to everything uh it's for a good cause stunt says in the chat uh they know very well that it is worth it even to buy just like one or two or three tickets to something because sometimes people don't don't go for all the same stuff. So you can, I, I, we have had people in the past win by buying like one ticket because no one else donated to a certain thing. We have t- about three dozen different things that you can win. So there's like probably going to be that many winners. Sometimes you'll, you'll get people winning multiple things, but a ton you can do with just a short donation to doctors without borders. Um, I really did not think we'd be getting up so high here tonight. Uh, so it's fifty dollars awesome. for a nat one donation. <laughs> oh, is it? Is that to force a nat one? How, how does that work? Yes, and then <laughs> it's twenty dollars or thirty dollars to uh, negate that with a natural twenty. <laughs> so it's eighty dollars <laughs> in total to really mess with someone's roll. Um. Yeah, let's get back into the game and uh, let's do a 3D10 versus uh, uh, Van Karsis versus Navasi to see see a high stakes hand like for you know like 50 credits or something. Navasi, wait, do you have this money to sit down and actually play with? I should probably ask <laughs> that. Do you have uh, some, do you have something you can put up as collateral collateral and get some creds? The sedatives. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> no, got these those were thrown away. Seth, that happened, Canon. <laughs> You said you wanted to do that. <laughs> One dollar, and Patrick and I argue about a Maguma for another twenty minutes. Uh, let's see. Deep, um, deep Discord cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put up my I'll put up my uh, other podcast. Hmm. I'll put up a, a serum a serum of healing, and um. Uh, let's see what's there. Uh, an azimuth laser pistol. Okay, uh, yeah. So let's make let's make a roll, just three d ten, see who does better. It's either like a straight or two or three of a kind, or just mm-hmm. like highest number would would win this hand. Okay. Oh, oh, nine seven one, not looking good for Jabert. <laughs> oh, well, you've got a three four eight. No, no straight here. Um, yeah. Yeah, so maybe Van Van Karsis takes your money and is like, uh, you can't win them all. Uh, it, what, what was your name again, Miss? Uh, Navasi, <laughs> Miss Navasi. <laughs> womp womp womp. They make some eyes in your direction, but yeah, perhaps uh, there's a little little um, trepidation in in their their look towards you. It's like, what are what's their game? Mm. Um. Can I, can I make a sense motive to see um, um, if they seem 
nervous or if they seem like confident and comfortable here yeah like they, if they feel like like they're well protected or like or if they're they're nervous that like someone might be tailing them uh do make me a roll and we'll, we'll see what the the dice comes out as okay let's see so so sense motive is plus four but i also get my expertise on this one so patrick the the chat the the twitch stream has gone back to the big images of uh our npcs what hmm? it it's it's dwarf guy and elf and dragon there we go what, what are you on about what are you talking about not for it, me that's what I looked at the twitch chat and that's what it was so okay no. nobody else saw that nope. no i hope not see that <laughs> weird all right F's in the chat for Drew's brain if you guys didn't see that. I'll take a Miles, picture did of you, it the next did time you it put Drew in an alternate universe? Casting that in the Maybe. All right, uh, 21 on a sense motive. 21 is very good. Um, yeah, so they they do seem to like look over their shoulder every once in a while. Um, maybe they, they send some looks the way of the, the giant Obazaya or some of the other folks that are, um, around the table as, you know, people, people will start to fill in and, and watch as this high stakes game of Flublurgen continues on <laughs> old, uh, Flublurgen, Flublurgen you know, <laughs> that's St. <Saint> Olaf. <laughs> we'll get, uh. Look at this this uh this game board here. You got let, let's go through the symbols. You got, you know, like a little box guy and uh wavy two dots, the Oh god, the, we don't we don't we don't have to go through all of it. Let's make a game let, no, let's <laughs> craft our own rules for Flubergen here tonight. No, we're, I'm just like we're making cosmic crit cannon, folks. I'm trying to remember this thing. Uh I have I have enough nerds present to help me recall what is the is. What is the game in Deep Space Nine? <laughs> Dabo. Dabo! Uh, yeah, it was Dabo. Who knows yeah. that? Dabo! Uh, you know, uh, I should go back to the, the game board. There's actually two rows of these symbols, black and red, and there's ten of them. Yeah, it's so we roulette, should, basically. We, we should be rolling ten, uh, 2d10 instead of 3d10. Like we're, we're very close to the actual rules of full Bergen, guys. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks more like roulette, Miles. I agree. Well, there's not I've a... played roulette. I love roulette. There's not like a spinner. It's a good way to there's lose no wheel, money but... in no, my experience. No, if you look down at the left... I have won a lot of money in <laughs> look, look down here at the left end. There, there yeah. looks like coasters i bet you have to like throw a coaster out uh to to land on something or maybe those are just chips i don't know well i mean that's how roulette works is you put chips on different parts of the thing oh but, man yeah. we've really but yeah there is no wheel down here. yeah yeah the, the wheel is like a, an entirely separate game like on the no, other no, side no, the, of the wheel room. is just virtual the, because the, this is starfinder the wheel is coming off is what it's it's doing because we've spent 10 minutes on Flabergen, five on jizz music <laughs> um while, while you, the rest of you are waiting around for navasi to try and make this slow burn play uh can everyone make me a fortitude save to survive waiting hours here in this casino after hours Wait. on the shuttle <laughs> why it's just like it's just like a forced march situation it like... is if you fail you become exhausted no bored fa fatigued sorry fatigued become oh. bored oh boy dc oh boy. 13 oh obazaya makes it uh i don't think i do what's Laura it's dc makes it. 13 oh no so. We do have, you know, donations. We can add to the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got so, a plus five and a plus... Wait, what, what, what's the... What's the Miles, check? you have a plus five specifically for you. Right. No, I understand that. But what's the, what, what's the check? It's DC 13. So we got a yeah, couple gonna, of Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab five of those points. Just put them in my roll. Uh, if that's okay. It wouldn't would, would matter if I did those five points. But I think that that, that doesn't... Wait, don't we have a reroll? I was about to say, there's a... Um, 
I would say a reroll for everyone from from Wraith, or you could break it up into mm -hmm. two plus fives or one plus ten if you want. I've already used mine, but I'm gonna grab Let's some see, points because uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use my reroll. Well, no one's stopping you from donating yourself, Seth. If you wanna just <laughs> there we go, blast your own <laughs> personal money. A fourteen will will do all right. Yeah, or otherwise Keskadai's feet start hurting him. He does that dad rocking back and forth when he's like waiting in, in line at Disneyland impatient. Can I not utilize some of our, our, our points? Oh, uh, yes, but before you roll, sure. Oh, what? That yeah. doesn't make any sense. No. Wait, you think you just add on whatever you want that after you roll? Sense. That's not yeah, how you I feel do like that, a, I, I, I feel like a natural 20 you would have to declare first, but if you're adding points, you add points. What else? Why would you add, add points? I'm going to add five no, points to You this. know you need points. Guys, There's Patrick's rules. I literally made the convention. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I, like, created it. You're arguing not with the GM, with the person who made the rules. Let's go to the chat and see what they say. Let's go to Wraith. Wraith, do you want more money donated to Doctors Without Borders? So <laughs> or do you want to give these crybabies what they want? <laughs> you know what? No. Cascade is bored now. You got the bored <laughs> status effect. Yeah. Fine. Let's get the sleepy token generator uh, for Cascade. Look, at, look how bored they are. They got the little sleepy icon on them. Uh, has anyone not rolled? Uh, I haven't, but that's because I'm playing a riveting game. <laughs> oh no, you gotta roll tune of Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> or you fall asleep at the Flablergan table. All right, let's see. Where's my bonus here? Oh no, my bonus is plus zero. <laughs> Stunt says, "Doctor needs some borders. Pay up for those borders." Wait, no, oh, no. they don't. <laughs> Deidre says they don't need borders. Pay up to stop the borders. I, the mythology of why we're raising money for this amazing charity gets. Uh, no simpler every year. Right. Uh, I, I get sleepy as well. I mean, no, that's sneaky. Hang on, <laughs> sleepy. That's what I want. <laughs> that's so good. I get sneaky too, but I mean, but that's that's immaterial. Um, oh god, I love I love this map so much. Toot toot. By the way. Oh, toot toot in the chat. Toot 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 toot. Yeah, yeah, I need folks in chat to figure out whether these doctors want borders because they're without them. They would like <laughs> the borders, or please help the borderless doctors. They want to stay borderless. If these doctors they, see the problem is they never want to data. see a border again. <clears throat> they got all this data in these tables, but they they're just all the tables are just the little data's leaking out. They got to put borders on those tables. Buy these doctors some borders. Figure it out in chat. Anyway, uh, yes, <laughs> all of the fatigued conditions. So a minus one uh, to AC attack rolls, melee damage, and, and things like that. Well, good thing because I just gambled my gun away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you'd have to surrender it before the before you leave. Like you, uh -oh. you just put it up as collateral. So you, I see. You still, I hope you still Did have it. Did they take my stick? Your the stick. walking stick it's not a weapon no no i think i think i mean i i actually read through this a few times i was like do the security guards care about guns no this is this is wild west people can get, get oh in everyone here. just hasn't gotten here okay uh yeah so i think as the the game goes on the hours go on this uh this Dralic leaves and uh vin Carsis will will sidle up to to uh to to get some some more chatting in the boss and it's like so so what what did you uh, want to do here besides lose your money to me? What what brings you to the Solaris? Uh, I've heard that there is a uh, uh, an investment opportunity to be made, and uh, uh, in in a horacalcum mine, and I am here to drop some fat uh, fat cred cred sticks. Um, Horacalcum, what? Oh no. Do you mean to say, uh, uh, they get a, a little nervous here. Why don't you make me another, uh, well, that, uh, yeah, do, do you, do you want to push that any further? Cause they're like, what, what do you mean? This is like the Pee Wee, the Pee Wee Herman word of the day or something. Um, uh, mm -hmm. do I, do I want to?
uh yeah you know what i i, I think i think uh i think i i think i do i think i want to sidle in sidle in real close and uh and uh say to him you know what i mean you know what you i know. mean you've got a you've got a you've got a good thing going here and i want in and i'm gonna make a i'm gonna make a diplomacy roll see if i can get him to to loosen up and admit into my lapel the little I have a little flower <laughs> that's a little microphone on my lapel. And I was like, say it into my, into my, why don't you sniff my flower and tell me all your secrets? Oh boy. Yeah. Natural. Tell 20. me your secrets. Tell oh. me your secrets. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like between hands, like there's the, the dealers switch out. So you have like a minute or so she like just kind of like looks down and, and you see maybe the form underneath the, the face, like, try to relax for a moment you can tell they are expending a, a energy like keeping up this facade she'll mm-hmm. kind of break down and say oh why well, i'm just so tired uh i've been i've been trying to get this money for some time if you know about the hork Hor- Hor- then you, you you know that uh I, I i took those 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 nice people's money on absalom station and and I came here and I put it all on black and I did it again. And I'm I'm trying to to raise up funds. I'm, I'm I'm almost there. I am almost there. I I need this money. Uh, my my mother need this this money for a very important uh surgery. Okay, so definitely sends motive. Definitely sends motive here. Mm-hmm. Your bird just can't stop rolling 20s. <laughs> 28. I'm, oh just, my I'm just drilling into her soul with my eyeballs. I'm like, yep. Don't tell me oh, what what kind of what kind of mother? What kind of what kind of illness? Uh yeah, I mean there seems to be some obfuscation. Perhaps they're not like completely recalcitrant for stealing money but the core of it seems like yeah they're in a hard way and they need money for something very personal for something serious okay yeah um you can see on their face they they do have a a bit of a yeah bit of a problem um Uh, yeah i I, i'm gonna say i'm gonna gonna tell her uh, look we can uh we can work something out if you uh if you tell us if you tell us what's wrong you come with us and you tell us what's wrong we can take care of this problem for you but uh, um, but uh, we're going to need you to uh, give these people their money back. I, I mean, I need I need this money so bad. I, I I don't know if I can give it back right now. But after I I I I get the the money uh, back to Absalom, I'm going to do everything that I can to pay it back. I will. I'll I'll go honest. I'll work straight. You know, you guys can you, you guys can escort me back there if if that's what you you need to do. Um, if you're working on behalf of those people, I I I filched. Then, I mean, that's on me. That's on me. I, right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wave over my uh my, my teammates. Yeah, we can. Yeah, that's we, fine. We can because we can sort of bring them all bring them all in so bring them all into the conversation sure so. sure um just let me go to the bathroom real quick i will i will be right wait back. a minute since motive <laughs> what uh, no i'm just gonna leave i'm gonna leave my cred stick here so i don't remember I astra zoans being <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a life science that's a biology check to bird <laughs> i'd be happy to escort you to the restroom uh, yeah, we, can all, we can all go to the I can girls' room. Do it mm, myself, yes. and nope. I don't think we're going to the same bathroom. There's like seven uh, different ones here for. Yeah, I, I go to a special one because I, you don't want to know where it comes out of. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. Thank you though. Yeah, no. I'm actually real. very interested in biology. <laughs> <laughs> I have a <laughs> minus two to life science, so <laughs> let's. Let's see them elbows. <laughs> um, uh, you know, yeah, no, for real. If she's trying to give me the slip here, I want to, I want to, want to know what this sense motive. Yeah, Detroit's is not a fan of bathroom police, Obazaya. Just let okay. them go to the bathroom in peace. All right, yeah, yeah. Navasi is totally cool with them just going to the bathroom because rolled a twelve on my <laughs> sense motive. So, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> the game is over. You guys failed the bathroom <laughs> check. Uh, no, you see them do kind of go off. They're not going towards the the exit. They seem to be going a, a, a different direction. Uh, do you guys want? Do, do you want to bring your team up to speed as uh, as that happens? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, definitely got to keep an eye on the bathroom because they're just going to go in there and change shape and come back out. <laughs> right. I mean, Obaziah is standing outside the bathroom. Like, I... okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Do you want, do you want me to move you well, that direction? Th- th- that's the other thing. They probably yeah. don't realize that we know they're a dwarf part of the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, who knows? Um, but yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll a dwarf I'll... comes out whistling Dixie like, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll bring the rest of the, the team uh, up to speed. the chat back to the chat yeah as as this is happening the bathroom break uh which we, we probably should have done like an hour ago here on the stream but at this point we're we're battling through <laughs> i've had yeah i wish you could see by my computer there's so many empty lacroix cans. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> we're in, we're in critical mass but we're gonna continue on with the bounty because as uh they head off that same group of toughs you <gasps> saw from the shuttle begin guy. moving towards the bathroom. You see them, you know, kind of like pulling their jackets Our old back nemesis, the from, bathroom. from their hips. And you see a couple of them go to like maybe uh, stop some security guards. And uh, they, yeah, they, they are they're getting ready to, to roll up on that bathroom, roll up on Obazaya. <gasps> and you see at the, the tough toughies at the lead, this uh this this guy uh, looking at like Obazaya and, and gives you a kind of like a, a head shake like oh mm, are, you, are you waiting in line? Like the dude who plays the Punisher. <laughs> it re- it really does look like him. <laughs> That's when I was like a dude. <laughs> does it? Um yeah. Wait, wait Tom yeah. Jane? Hold on a second. No, the Netflix Netflix Punisher. Uh, oh, from- guy from Walking yeah, Dead. Guy, I like him either. Yeah, it's a like a, a young hipper version. No, I, I see it. Hip I to whom? It. He's got I the haircut. See I see it. I think Miles we, is we talked about here. this in the chat earlier uh, of punching. I, I, I guess Nazis in a bar, which was like episode one of Cosmic Crit. This is a, a part of the art I think I used for that. Uh, the the Epsilon oh, I was, first I was gonna say, he's got front. Like that, he's got like that Antifa T-shirt on. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I was gonna say he's got like a Black Lives Matters T-shirt on. So like it can't. Really <laughs> he's be... cool in my book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can't be that bad. I'm with him, we're gonna gang up on that astrozole and get him. No, but he he goes like. I don't care if your mom has has space cancer or whatever. He goes uh, up to you, Obazai, and is like, "Move out of the way. We got a, we got we got business with that elf." I'm waiting for my friend. You have to go through me if you want to get to her. Uh, he definitely does. We're friends the, now. He does. <laughs> he does the cool uh, neck crack thing, which I can't. I can't do. I don't have that much tension in, in the old spinal cord. My wife, though, cracks that in a shoulder, and it is the deepest thud. <laughs> just like, <laughs> boom. Every time I it happens. Did, I, I, I can't do it either, so I, I get it. Yeah. So. Just cracks cracks the knuckles. Is like, if that's what I got to do, that's uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I mean, oh, Messiah gets her dishko out. You guys want to roll in some oh, initiative? Turn order. Oh, yeah. yeah, why not? For a little combat action. Oh, I I put that um uh fusion on it, right? I think so we I can make it, it yeah. yeah. So I can make it um on Obazaya's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The hottest of garbage rolls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you guys Jabert. <laughs> Jabert, have you rolled three twenties in a row? Oh, you you rolled another there was, one in between. There was there was one uh yeah. There's one stinker in there. Oh my god! I would roll initiative, but I'm just so bored. <laughs> How dare you, Seth? <laughs> oh yeah, is is fatigue also on initiative rolls? Great question. Fatigue is AC attack rolls, melee damage, reflex, and initiative checks. Okay, yeah. So, so twenty one. It's uh, gonna be a flat tw- d twenty for me then. Oh, pretty good. Sixteen. Kesk-a-dai. Pretty good. Keskadai. I thought I had Keskadai clicked when I rolled that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have. Of course. Well, but not oh, the character. You have a so plus seven to, in, to, to uh, initiative. What I do? That's oh, wow. crazy! Wow. Oh yeah, she's uh, Obazaya oh. is a blitz soldier. Oh, oh yeah, Obazaya is 
She's a, she's a BA, BA for so sure. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, you guys can add your your bonuses and then just type it in to the tracker here. And I've got a, I've got a roll D twenty as well myself. Nope. Which my bonus? How do I? How much do I have to donate for you to not roll initiative? <laughs> well, I think we set a uh, a fifty for a natural one, but uh... no, 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 like zero roll. No, no roll. <laughs> like enemy doesn't get a turn. Like <laughs> I think it would default to, uh, to a one. <laughs> Let's see what the dice say. Twelve on the dice. It's not bad. Yeah, to D Trot's point, how many points do we still have to add? I know we initially had fifty from someone, and then Miles had plus five but he used that, plus right? five not someone uh wraith donated um i think we've already used two re-rolls from from that but uh which would be two five? of those right so, which i will probably use for an attack at yeah. some point uh rebecca has a natural 20 still 20. to use i have a re-roll myself and i've used none of the points because i failed to declare that i needed to add points before i rolled the roll <laughs> All right, Re so Rebecca, next time we, we roll. <laughs> it's Kirk on five. You know the rules. Uh, do I have an automatic 20? Uh, you, you've written that in our, our chat. Uh, did I miss that? Yeah. Yeah, there was one in the um, in the donations. <gasps> I was trying oh, to oh yes. yes. Oh, we, we shouted them out in chat. But thank you so much for that. I, uh, I would have to use a re-roll if I wanted to use that uh, natural 20 here. So... Uh, Miles, what is, did you roll initiative yet? I did. What's your... It was terrible. Can you... Well, do you have a bonus to your, your four? Uh, not the one I'm going to use right now, no. I mean, do you have an initiative bonus, Miles? <laughs> like, on your character sheet? Oh, um... <laughs> Miles has been playing this game as long as anyone <laughs> on the say, planet. how long have you been playing this game? <laughs> I've checked. It's plus five. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, Navasi, you are you are first. As you see, no, I have not been playing this as long as anyone has been playing out uh, Jabir. We we started, we started playing this at literally long. Before, like the the day that day it came one. Out. Yeah, and I'm I've always been terrible at this game. That that's never not been true. He's got a point, Jabert, You jerk. Why would <laughs> yeah, you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Uh, but you are first, Jabert with Navasi, despite being tired. Uh, despite being fatigued by hours at the table, hours on the shuttle, you see this group of toughs brandishing their their weapons and moving up to Obaziah, getting a whoop in her face. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to throw a smoke grenade. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh, no. <laughs> Pocket sand. Uh, this, uh, oh, goodness gracious. This fight. Um, how oh, is that a 10-foot radius? 20. Foot radius. My God, the entire, <laughs> entire. I love that I'm fighting with Rusty Shackelford. Yeah, it's like it's like this. Uh, like Dra there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, so you've you've thrown it all over the the gang here. It looks yeah. like. Yeah. So I'm, I'm 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 doing it so that I'm not hitting my friend Obazaya over there. Well, technically, um, this is a grenade, and you do have to make an attack roll. That's true. Uh, if you're rolling it to the center, I think you're right outside the twenty foot. Do you want to move forward and, and throw it first? Because I think you can get within the the radii. Um, if it's a 20 foot, I, I really don't want to be in the radius when this thing pops. So I think I'm I think I'm going to have to just take a penalty to okay to whip it. Um, you want to add any bonuses to this this roll? Because if you fail, it can it can move the move the thing around. Yeah, um, I think you're only trying to hit. Well, you're trained with grenades as an envoy, so a DC seven. Yeah. Um, oh boy. No, but I have a minus one to the check. Add True. points. Add points. I'm gonna add points. Yeah. Let's see. Can I can I add five points to this? Yeah. Okay. So don't so roll a one, right? Don't roll that one. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> You've rolled the other side of the dice three times already, so that can't happen right now. Hey, there we go. All right. Thirteen so. on the dice. Okay. So right. yeah. Oof. 
the um, casino floor. Uh, yeah, they, there's some screaming going on as people are like, oh, there's a fire or something. And the uh, smoke fills up. You hear the, the tough toughs coughing. Uh, yeah, I think- so, yeah, so they need to make a, a DC 15 fortitude save. Oh, does this have a... Are you about to fatigue them? What is happening? Yeah, so so uh, if they fail this check, they spin that round, choking and coughing. Oh my goodness! Fifteen. And then you if they, say. and then if they if they continue to, and then if on the next round they're they still choke and cough, if they if they fail their next fortitude save, then then they take one d six non lethal damage. Okay, fortitude for um th- uh, the the two others that are over here are kind of involved with the the guards um i will roll for the three that are kind of threatening a bazaar right now <clears throat> how much does this grenade cost Jabert? i don't know i only have one okay. okay uh one of them here in with the blue dot on them uh begins yeah just uh, buckling over coughing uh coughing fit the other two seem to like wipe their eyes but it doesn't seem to affect them as much okay uh, 40 credits is what it is. Not bad, not bad. Less expensive than sedative. Obazaya, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, we're on to you. A, a smoke grenade has gone off right, right in front of you. If I were to step forward, would I be in the smoke? Yes. So Yeah, you'd need to move to like over here if you wanted to. Yeah, but I don't want to open up the pathway to the bathroom yeah that's true Th- is this just a regular smoke grenade because i don't think do, do, do. yeah so it uh uh regardless of what uh the armor character oh no is, yeah you, you have to use vision grant, granting concealment yeah yes yeah, so if you moved into this without environmental protections on you would have to make that fortitude safe if you want to just move to the the edge of the smoke uh you can you can reach a couple of these tough toughs so, i don't have reach so or, or you could activate right? your your you could st- standard action activate your environmental protections and walk in yeah but there would still be concealment right 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 yeah so i have given them concealment but okay also um, they- Turning on environmental protections is a swift action or standard. A standard? Yeah, you're like suiting up, putting the helmet on, making sure the pressure is right. All I can do is move and put on my environmental protections. That's kind of lame, but okay. So sorry, Rebecca. (laughs) So sorry. (laughs) So sorry. Jabert did this. Jabert did this to you. I'm so sorry, (laughs) Rebecca. Let's let's just wait until Tuesday when we have three actions again. Everything. I know. How dare you? How (laughs) dare you, Starfinder for five ever? Uh, So is that what you want to do? You want to get into the scrum? No. Oh. No. You, you could also right. like no, you could just... also uh, uh, ready an action if somebody comes within range. Yeah, let me just do that. I'm just gonna stand here with my Doshko and ready to hit them with a natural twenty if they come near me. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Why would you? Th- well, they're definitely not going for Opus <laughs> Uh No, this. Uh... Oh, we're on to Keskadai's turn. Keskadai's rolled a sixteen. Is that with your minus one, a 16? Yes. All right, I have a plus one normally, and that gave me a oh, flat you, you 20. Hard, you hard rolled it, Seth. Yeah. Hard rolling, Seth. What would you like to mm. do with your turn? Oh, I want to take a nap. So tired. <laughs> I don't have a fatigue condition. I mean, it's just like you've been standing for a couple hours. It's not, it's not, oh, like, God. It's not like someone slipped you a sedative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, no, no, no! I'd be way more of... energetic if somebody hit me with a sedative. That that does nothing. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, gosh, what? I mean, so can I even see any of them at this point? I technically don't have line of sight to any of them, do I? They have, they have concealment. All right. Uh... A sedative does 1d4 non-lethal damage. It's definitely worse than being fatigued. Have you worked an eight-hour shift at Blockbuster? (laughs) 
I have. You got me, yeah. Seth. You got it's me. Awful. That's that's at least two D four damage. Oh, mental, it's, it's awful. I have mental weird damage. fond memories of it. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, since I can't see anything, I guess I'll just uh, well, just uh, you, you wheel up. You can see the forms in the in the smoke. I think for the purposes of casting a spell. I think for concealment purposes it's just harder to clearly see the enemy in there um but yeah. if i already cast a spell like what what the am i looking at i think is is a 20 percent mischance yep yeah so i think both ranged and like if you're inside it's only it's that's only really because that's weird because if you think about a spell like mind thrust it's like how does that have a missed chance. Huh. Eh, that's fine. Uh, I will... I will go ahead and uh, use my move action to stand uh, here, just east of Navasi, and uh, I will ready an action to cast Mind Thrust if I get an eye on one of these guys coming out of the, the smoke. Okay. Ready Is that a thing you can do in Starfinder? I forget. I think so. A standard action? I'm pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, I, no, I mean, ready an action ready a spell. to cast a spell. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then that, that is what I will do. Okay. Uh, you can cast it, because we are going to their turn next. Oop. In the turn order. And one is going to pop out of the smoke and move right up to Navasi. Who threw the grenade. He saw you. He saw you do it. Me. Do you want to? Oh, Seth, you gonna blast him? It's a will save, yes. right? So Seth? in that case, it's going to be a DC fifteen will save for this this punk. Okay, let me roll that. Is this the Bucky's guy? Is this the Wawa guy? This is this is Bucky's all over, and he's rolled that oh. fifteen hard. So has Frickin succeeded. Crazy. Frickin' yeah. Bucky's guy. All right. The hat see. saved him. It blows off with the force of the... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's do a... Pew. Bop, bop. Uh, half of five. He takes two damage, baby. Oh, we're still, we're still good. Oh, we're still Double good. One. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Um, you should have used a natural 20 on the... <laughs> Of the uh, spell roll. On the spell attack roll? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he should have done. Okay. This guy is going to move up to... Oh, I'm looking at... I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, I, I guess I can do one at a time. I'm going to use my natural 20 to attack Navasi, I think. First thing oh, no. first. <laughs> Rip Navasi. Yeah, they've got a survival knife. They they pull out as they're walking towards you and <laughs> sticks it right in. Right. Ah. Uh, so natural twenty survival knife. Whew, this might take Navasi out with a single attack. Let's it see. might two d four. Good good good. Stranger things have happened. Oh, pretty low. This is still. Nine points of piercing damage total. Oh, one and a two. Yeah, well, <laughs> Just right in your side. <sighs> How you doing? I prepared the wrong attack. Man. Oh, man. Right, uh, this let's is see. my fault. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, uh, take the blame for me using a natural 20, Rebecca. <laughs> uh, I'm still up. I've got a... I'm in hit point damage. <laughs> for, for certain. Oh, boy check in the the donos real quick make sure we haven't got any any new ones since we started i'm, I'm about to ready to throw down some donations myself i'm gonna need it i'm gonna need it for you guys okay so that, sure. why, was that was that too damage i did to you too spicy patrick it's so it's so spice well i know i got a natural 20 coming my way right now because this one is going to move up to you obaziah he's still in concealment in the smoke do you want to throw your natural 20 at this attack you've don't you've, do it you've readied an attack against the the the, the tough leader it's a trick don't do it do i see it yeah i mean you can see the form coming at you Throw, throwing off that bucky's. i believe in you rebecca i believe in you big bucky's energy 
everyone's got a Bucky's hat now. It's it's uh it helped me with that role. So I, mean, I have a Bucky's question. Girl. Can I put points toward the concealment? Uh, first of all, no one else has a Bucky's hat but me. Uh, I'm gonna say no towards the concealment because what? it is a D10. It is. Uh, in in Starfinder, yes. Oh. But I will say, if you want to use a reroll on it, that will be allowed. All right. And I can do that after I roll it, right? Well, the mischance says 20%. Well, that's not that bad. Wait, if the attacking creature would hit, must roll a 20 or lower on a 2 or 4. What? Can't take no range. This doesn't make any, this doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I mean... It is a 20% chance. We usually roll a D10 on the podcast, so that's why I guess I'm assuming that. But if you want to roll, uh, re-roll, that's fine. So do you want to use your natural 20 here to strike out with your attack? Just... Yeah. Do you want me to roll a mischance first? So what is that, a 10? Yeah. D10? Yeah, don't roll a 1 or a 2. 9. Ugh. Woohoo. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Doesn't Not liking this guy's chances. So what's Obazaya? <laughs> What's the damage dice that you're well, rolling? Well, she is wielding a tactical doshko. She gets 1d12 plus 3 piercing damage. All right. All right. So there's a chance he could stay up if you roll low. So you roll double that? For yeah, so I guess double that, right? 2d12 plus 6. Yeah. 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 So if you want to roll a 1 and a 2 like I did, that'd be totally cool. <laughs> Spike. Just kill him, Rebecca. Just kill him. I'm, I'm going to try. Um, two twelves. Two no, twelves. Just, oh, right. gosh. 20 damage. Yeah, they are down for the count as you nice. clock them. Clock them hard. Ouch. Take that, um, bad cop from Ugh. Walking Dead. And the third one in the smoke here, uh, as long as with his compatriots time to mess the guards up, uh, is just coughing. This guy's just coughing this round. So that takes us to Veloro. Drew. Yeah, so, so Valoro can just run. Can't really do a lot um, because he doesn't. He only has twenty five feet of movement. So I don't think I can get anywhere that I can hit anything without moving twice. So, hmm. um, actually, huh, I get oh. an entry point when I have an idea. starts. Mm. Miles, can you? Can you put Valoro in a universe where he's in Pathfinder 2 for a turn? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. That's a level one ability, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would assume Three actions so. in a turn, yeah. I mean, we could talk about what the uh, the Witch Warper ability does infinite worlds. Uh, use a spell slot to create an environmental effect like fog or thick vines that last for a round. If uh, if that's what you want to do with your turn, Miles, Actually, we can we can make it like <laughs> you slick the the ground here, turn it to ice, so you can just slide <laughs> an extra ten feet. Well, Wait, I, 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 I just realized I can spend an entropy point that I have gotten at the beginning of the the, the round to <laughs> to to go a little faster, to go an extra ten feet. Well, well oh. you, use your own magic. <laughs> Foot, yeah. foot fancy magic, Drew, to get over there. So I'm going to come right up here to uh, to, to the red guy, Red Dot. Yeah. And we're Bucky's take, hat. Uh, do, I, do I still have a plus five that I can spend, or was that given to Miles instead? No, you have one. No, you have one, yeah, I'm and gonna, I have one. I'm going to give that plus five to this entropic strike. Uh, so that is a 17 plus, uh, oh, where'd it go? I think it's plus three. Yes, 17 plus three for mm -hmm. a 20 to hit. Well, you've rolled 12 on the dice, but 12 plus three? Is that what you meant? Or? Plus five. Because he's using his plus five. Because I'm as using well. the plus five. Oh, oh, right. Jeez Louise. That is a hit. Yes. Yeah. Whew. Uh, so I can do 1d3 plus 3. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to call that acid damage. Help me, Valord. 
Valoro? Help me, uh, Valero. Valero. <laughs> How dare you mock a fighting pit veteran, a Lashuntin master combatant? We got Bucky's, we got Sheets, we got Wawa, we got Valero. They're all here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that is only four points of damage. Uh, four is. They, they call me Lil Cricket. Four is double what he's he's got in, in and mental I'm damage. Come and go. <laughs> Jizz music and go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said music. It's fine. <laughs> Chat, it's fine. Stop. No. <laughs> uh, okay. That That is your turn. Bring that to the bottom of the turn order, Zemir. All right. So who's still up? Is it this guy? You've got a guy in the smoke coffin, and you got one that has just stabbed uh, really, really painfully a Navasi. All right, so I can most easily get to this guy, right? Uh, I mean, if you want to move into the smoke, you can, yeah. Yeah, why not? Bloop. Oh, he's coming up behind him. He's he's still coughing uh, as, as you go into the smoke here and, and cough as well. I don't cough. I'm good. I mean, maybe. We'll, we'll see. But what do you want to do with <laughs> your What do you want to do with your turn? Um, I'm going to hit him with my uh, tactical dueling sword. Oh, ho, ho, ho. do you want to use any any bonuses here? Do you? Sell yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my plus five. Okay, nice. Which we'll see. So that's fifteen to hit. Uh, fifteen is potentially a hit. Roll me a d10 for the mischance because of the smoke mm. on the water. Nine. Oh, another nine. Another hit. Uh, what what damage are we talking about? What damage? So dies? that is what a one d six for that. Sounds right. Sounds right. Oops. Three. Okay, that's first bit of damage on this one. Uh, okay. Thank uh, Dietrich for that one. Thank you very much for the Thanks. donations. Looks like we got some more coming in. Uh, for me? Uh, Jabert, have a re-roll. Uh, you're the best character actor on the pod. Oh, thank you, guys. From oh. Dietrich. Oh, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, yes. Hmm. Way to upset everybody else on the cast. Mm, I'm just preening back and forth. I'm going to get my re-roll this time. Okay. All right. so... you, mean, you mean on Cosmic Crit? Detroit, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go on to turn two and back to Navasi, who's, who's bleeding out, oh, bleeding, bleeding up a storm. <laughs> I'm squirting my blood, my juices all over everybody. Uh, so first things first, uh, blue dot over here, uh, Wawa uh, can make another fortitude save. This time it's a 16. Oh, for the coughing. I forgot all yeah. about that. Wow, you can't do anything. He couldn't do anything, right, when he failed? Yeah. So it's yeah. just like you fa fail again or it's bad news. Right. <laughs> all right. Uh, do I have a bonus? No, I don't have any bonuses, right? Did you have any bonuses? Uh, I already got a... Oh, I got a reroll. I get to, to use, I think. That's it. So apparently newsflash, smoke grenades are kind of rad. <laughs> if you're a low-level character. Okay, let me let me roll this. Best save, but ooh, there it is. 17 on the dice. He, oh, man. He's thankfully saved. So All right. He okay. is still... Unfortunately, uh, Zamir, uh, you need to make a, a fort save, too. This one's 15 for you. You got that, uh, you got that mouse? Yep. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, 16. You're good. You're good. Hard rolling Everybody's 16s. good. Okay. Um, all right. So then on my turn, I'm going to, uh, sputter, uh, out of my, <laughs> Floro, get him, get him. And I'm, and I'm gonna uh, stumble back over this chair and uh, and fall down. Ah. Are you okay? Are, uh, are you? 
I'm, I'm moving more than five feet. So <laughs> are you withdrawn? Um, I think that's a full action, isn't it? Or is that a standard action in this game? It's a full action. I'm sorry. Did you have something else that you did? Uh, yeah, I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting, oh, you did move action. No, that that could potentially provoke. All right, here we go. What are you doing? I'm I'm moving, I'm moving away. Oh, okay. So I'm I'm, at trying, make... I'm trying to get back to. Actually, wait a minute. No, Keskadai. I sit down in the chair. I'm like, ah, Keskadai, help me, <laughs> leave me, Keskadai. <laughs> Okay, so oh, yeah, I can heal people. So not uh, not pulling back. Uh, yeah, I'm just five foot, but five, five okay. foot sitting down in the chair. Perfectly fine because we are on to Ubazaya next. Oh right, to Ubo. Uh, I all right, so it's still foggy, right? Well, where that circle is, yes. This smoke grenade lasts for how long? A combat. It doesn't say it in the description that I'm reading, but I think I think it's. I would. I would. If it doesn't have a duration, then it's permanent. (laughs) This is just a feature of the casino now. now. Casino just has a smoke cloud. (laughs) Just got smoke in it. I mean, what else is new, right? Five ever. Where's the bathroom? Oh, it's a. Just go past the smoke cloud. (laughs) Okay. Uh, yeah, so did you want to move in to yeah, the smoke? Yeah, I, I assume Obazaya, even if she can't see the forms, although maybe she can. Um, you can she, see this guy that's fighting with Zamir. Okay, she at least hears the, you know, scuffle happening. I think she's going to uh, move forward and um, strike down with her doshka. Oh, Flanking with Samir. With his and I'm sword going to out. add. I'm going to add plus ten to this. Oh my god, no! Please, <laughs> please roll that one, Rebecca. Do I need to do mischance first? Um, sure. Yeah, we okay. can do it first. So it's not to. Oh, oh no. no! It's a miss. Oh no! You got that reroll. You got oh. that re-roll. Can I reroll that? Yes. No. Well. Well. You. You said that you're using your plus ten on that. Did I don't think you had another reroll, right? You. You can donate a reroll to yourself if you want. This is a potentially fairly important one. Well, I haven't used one from Wraith yet. Can I use one from Wraith? Did oh did you get a the plus ten from someone else from Detroit, Yeah. Right. Uh, right. Yes. Yeah. Then you do have a reroll. All right, use I use it on this D10 as I said is allowed. All right, here it goes. Oh no! no! Two toots in the chat, everybody. Two toots. Oh god! In the oh, chat. That's so painful. In the that's chat. such a waste. Twenty dollars down the drain. You know those doctors may or may not need borders, so you just <laughs> you helped out with that. Thank you guys for donating. Well, he just said that him, he will do it in the reroll if Rebecca needs it. Probably need <gasps> it for next turn because we're moving on right now. <laughs> Two kids can I? Mean... I. Uh, let me just refresh the old uh, donation page. I don't see it there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, let's get. Let's. Get, I see it. Let's get someone else a, a chance. Uh, Kes can I? You've got Navasi bleeding out the the knife wound. It's real bad, real bad on their side. What would you like to do? Or I forgot we were also on like a uh, uh, a bit of a um, delay for the the chat. So she is probably like, please, my bank account. It's, she stabbed out. <laughs> Someone else donate to our friends here, or I'm gonna start donating to myself because I'm I, I've got two ducks left in this hunt, and I gotta take out like five people. <laughs> All right. I don't think you well, do. Well, I will utilize Mystic Cure mm-hmm. on Navasi. <gasps> How It'll much? Be one d eight plus oh. four oh, hit points. Yeah. Wait, I can only do hit points. Are you? Like, oh hit? right. <laughs> um, That's right. Mystics are kind of limited in that way. Yeah. Um. I mean, four would get me back up to full hit points, but I just, I did just don't have very many hit points. <laughs> So, so honestly, right. you can cast a spell if you want to. I'm at least five feet away from the bad guys, so that's all I really... I thought you were going to say five feet away from the grave. Oh, well, that too. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dietreth has donated plus 10 to guarantee a hit for Rebecca. Okay. <laughs> Next turn, maybe. Uh, Cool. Well, you get five hit points back, Navasi. That's perfect. That's, that's exactly what I needed. There you go. 
Uh, is, that, is there a move action you want to do, Seth? No. <laughs> All right. No, not really. Because this guy is going to step forward to Navasi, just knocking over this chair and says, I said, you get back here when I talk to you. I'm wearing a Bucky's hat. <laughs> Make another stab. <laughs> I said, well, man, the Bucky's hat. A four on the dice. I'm going to use my re-roll. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, Navasi. Oh, I five on the dice. You survived me onslaught. <laughs> I don't know. My my KZ is 13. Slash. Slash. Is that still? Yeah. Yep. That is, that is two misses. Um, This one, I think, will we'll attack Obazaya. And I, I didn't. <laughs> Can someone talk about Star Wars music? for a while my phone my phone's on airplane mode i couldn't donate fast enough i was like why isn't this working <laughs> i don't know i don't even think i'll be alive to uh, i don't know if we have like time. i don't know if like i guess star wars music probably has you know let's go to wikipedia for what yeah, there's definitely just music a death metal, right? let's just look up music and, and wikipedia well because there's hmm. in-universe music and out-of-universe music so so right like what music are we looking up? Oh God! Do you think that? Do you think that the? Uh, uh, I'm not sure that Carly Rae Jepsen doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe. I mean, that's a real which is a shame. She, obvi- she obviously yeah, it, it's an absolute. It it's a crime. Long, it happened a long, 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 long time, time ago, ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, but some some artists' music transcend time and space, and I think Carly Rae's one of them. Oh, dude. Okay, so here's some interesting uh, information about music in Star Wars. Throughout the galaxy, beings created and listened to the art form known as music. That's that's a thing. That's wow. a thing. Great. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Only uh, Wikipedia, also, you guys. But uh, Jefferson Starship was there. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I, I would love to hear like, uh, like like <laughs> if there was like, if we lived like basically in the '90s, where like bands actually contributed to soundtracks again. And you got to hear like, oh, this is the top like 10 radio songs from the Star Wars universe. And you got to hear like 10 singles from like right. eight popular bands that you loved. All right, hold on, hold on. We can stop fan being. I've I given understand. myself a natural 20. No, no I, I don't care anymore. I don't, I don't, did, what, did, did, what are you okay, playing? Patrick, what are we Patrick. playing anymore? I don't, I don't care. I know, on, I know, I'm going to tell this. It, right? You do, but I'm, I'm critting you and I'm rolling that concealment now, Rebecca. Okay, Ugh. seriously, I feel like this is extremely important. Mm-hmm. Okay, What's it that? says, it says, oh, Seth's still really uh, really some repressive crazy. governments such as the Galactic Empire suppressed certain types of music, such as political protest songs like Vader's Many Prosthetic Parts by Hacko Draslip and the Tootle Fruits. That's got to be legends. That can't be canon currently, yeah. right? No, no, no. You're looking no, at no, the legends. No, 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 it's in canon. This, it's in this canon. was the, this, this was the, the American tab. idiot. This was the, the, the greatest to... American idiot of the day. So I'm, I'm going to sue Disney. I'm going to sue Disney ever... for, for stealing fruit tootles. From <laughs> no, oh, spoiler. Oh, from spoiler warning, Jabert. Jabert, no, no. Spoiler warning, spoiler warning. All right, we're getting back to the game here. Um... I, I paused it to show Seth's uh, <laughs> reading of, of the Wikipedia page. Um, all right, I'm, I'm actually making, all that jizz. I'm making two attacks, Obazaya. So I'm going to roll two missed chances. I'm going to make, if I get one of them, I'm making that the 20. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Is that not how no. it works? No, you have to say, is the 20 going to be the first or the second? All right, the, first, the, the 20 is going to be the second. At least do you okay. do 20. I swear to God. It, it, I swear if you just mess me out of this 20, I'm going to be so angry, Rebecca. I'm going to be, <laughs> be so, so happy. Angry. Oh, it's a natural oh. 10. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. All right, so first one I do have to roll. Three on the dice. <laughs> big energy second one's a natural 20 so let me just roll that beautiful bean footage of damage nearly max damage 13 points of piercing as you get stabbed all of my hp uh sp that is i mean oh no yeah sorry i have eight sp so i guess i'm in two hit point damage okay putting the, the big one down, hopefully, uh, in a turn. That is their entire turn, which is going to bring us to Veloro again. You've got this one that's still trying to go after Navasi. 
All right, what 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 amounts do we have left? Uh, well, you've got to get them on this guy. Just so you know. Yeah. So we got plus one for that. Um, I'm ju- I'm debating whether I need to align my shield and hit once, or whether I need to go for twice. But I'm wondering how many points we have to add, if we have any of those left. You've already used a uh, plus five, right? I thought we had some as a party, though. I, that's the one that you're using. Or no, no, Dietrich gave you <laughs> one as well. Yeah, Dietrich gave me. A plus yeah, you've five. got. Um, did you use a reroll already? No. You've got up to plus ten, or if you want to save it, you can use it as a reroll. All right, I'm going to hit twice. Okay. Pronk it. And pronk it indeed. You want to just uh, save that plus 10 for potential rerolls? Uh, let's see what happens when I hit the uh, when I hit the first time. Okay. Well, just, just now. We had a whole conversation about not being able to <laughs> retroactively a, apply the plus 10. Bonus. That's a, an 11? Uh, an 11 to hit what? Uh, to hit EAC. To hit EAC is... Entropic Strike. A hit! Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, uh, and do this again. One more time. One more time. Oh, 17. All right. Yeah, two hits. So yeah, this might be it. Your one, two, Huambo punch combos. Let's see what you get damage-wise. Oh, Dietrich says plus plus five to both. Are you donating more to Drew? You're not your not your favorite role player on the podcast. <laughs> well, in uh, fairness, I haven't used mine yet. But all right, so the Wait, first but... one is going to be a six, and the second one is going to be a five. What acid damage? What? Ooh, nice three and a two. Uh, that is enough to knock this guy unconscious. Crikey! Ooh. I wish I was in the smoke. That's what you get. Or <laughs> <laughs> wrestle me a, cro- a Bucky's crocodile, I, I, a tough croc, I say, I say. Uh, Grimshaw Jack, Zamir, <laughs> you are you're you're flanking with your girl flanking. Obaziah. Still, you are in the smoke forever because it will never go away. <laughs> we've we've determined. <laughs> I, get, I get that. Uh, so I'm in the smoke with Obazaya. Uh If I if I hit them, I get what plus two. Yes, for flanking, right? Yeah, we just got a new thing in for 117 bucks. Come on, oh, look at it real quick. Mm, let's be breakfast. Hey, that's another big one. Yeah, I, I only got applies to me though. Um, so. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> miss. What'd you get? Five. Uh, I've, I've looked it up in the core rule book. Smoke clouds last for one minute. One minute, yeah. <laughs> one minute. It, I mean, I still rolled a five, so. <laughs> Do you want to um, uh, donate for a reroll? You can yourself if you want, or we can move on to uh, somebody else's turn. Yeah, we'll move on to someone else's turn. Uh, Timothy, thank you for your amazing donation. Uh, if you're <laughs> indeed listening, otherwise, just thanks for for being part of the con. That puts us over two thousand dollars raised for Doctors Without Borders wow. so far. Uh, great, great day one right there. About uh, almost a, a third of a way to what we've we've done last year. So thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> uh, that's going to bring us to the top of turn. Three with Navasi. Um, move action. I'm gonna grab the uh, grab my gun off the table. All right, where I had it, <laughs> where I was using it for collateral, and I level it uh, directly at this guy in the cloud, and I take a shot. I'd like to think that the the, the table manager is like, "Hey, that's not yours anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my gun." Yeah, strength check to wrestle with a that's skitter mander. A gun. <laughs> a skitter mander. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Flaberkin dealer. <laughs> took me a while. Took me a while. I was like, what, what did I call this game? Guys, that's canon now. Yeah. Pachoo! Oh, super hit. super hit. Oh, gosh. Are we uh, still, are we doing the thing where you get to apply your critical effect? No, this is Starfinder Society. This is, these are like oh. real rules. Look, I have, I have Artemis, ah. uh, uh, 
skitter mander dealer for full Birkin. Guys. <laughs> he's, he's got all the he's got all the hands. It's so good. Look at him. Look how adorable he is. Oh, this not. is from this. This is from the 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 module I ran. Patrick. It's, it's great. Oh, it's uh yeah. There's a casino in that uh fire starters. Fire starters. Uh, that's what it was. Jabra, oh, I need sure to run. Add points to your uh, concealment check. Yeah, I need to I need to roll that concealment now. Oh, yep. Go for it. Ooh, so Whee! close. That'll do. Uh, all, right. all right, that's a hit. Second, all right, oh, second so. hit on this. This uh, this last tough. Two points of fire damage. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Uh, because Obaziah is next. Rebecca. All right, Obaziah is going to try to hit the guy in front of her two times. Two attacks, and are you gonna? Roll those d10s first. Yeah, I'll do that first. Okay. It's a bad idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, they both hit. Boom. I mean, well, maybe they'll hit. They, you know. Yeah. We'll this see. chance is good. Roll those attacks. So plus zero to both of these. Because it would normally be plus four, so. Oh, Ooh. that's a four to hit. That's not going to do it. Ooh. An 18! 18 is a hit. All right. That's how you do that it. 1d12 plus 3. This could be the ball game. <sighs> yep. Nine damage. That's how you do it. Uh, Had exactly eight hit points left, so boom. He is down out of combat Woo! as you see the guards wrestling the other toughs that were, were fighting with them to the ground and uh, out the, the smoke will dissipate as you guys cough up a, a lung here mm -hmm. out of the bathroom <laughs> walks a a dwarven uh, gentleman just whistling <laughs> Dixie just <laughs> <laughs> oh what's going there's some smoke over there anyway you guys have a nice day so, so long everybody and he, he zips around mind a, thrust zips around the corner <laughs> I uh, not so fast, man. <clears throat> yeah, no, you, 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 uh, if, if you make any gesture towards them, they head off in a sprint, uh, towards, towards, through a crowd that is like trying to get away from, from your fight. Uh, we are in, we're in chase rules, um, uh, for this as Van Carsis seems to be trying to get away. Uh, and and escapes through a crowd. You see him like maybe shifting again as you <gasps> yeah you, you catch what they they were looking like there. Um, first round of this is you got to try and and find the direction they go through this crowd as they make it through security and down to the the main floor. Um, you guys get down there. What would you like to do this this first round of this chase? I would like to use a move action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're in in more theater of the mind styles here, Seth. I would like to use two move actions. Okay, well, <laughs> say no more, sir. You catch up to him. I should I didn't have anything in my notes for if he just ran. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, can I just like pierce the veil and like see where they're gonna go and 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 surprise them there? Is that a spell you got? What's got? What's well, that? You could do. make it. You could make some of that territory difficult terrain to slow That's them true. down. That's true. You can make them very itchy it's for less one round. Fun. Wait, um, what is this thing that you're saying? Pierce the veil. Is that an ability? It's puncture veil. Um, it's an. I think it's an attack move. I have not played this character before, so um... <laughs> I'm just making it up, Rebecca. Calm down. Stop <laughs> I mean, grilling. It sounded really cool. <laughs> no, it it's it, sound, it sounded awesome. It's also a, a not great band. Um. <laughs> yeah, they're called Pierce the Veil. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't, I, I know I can do difficult terrain, but <sighs> was it uh, Infinite Worlds uh, Environmental? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's got a pretty good range on it. It's what 110 feet. So you can yeah, so I mean, I, sure. I can, I can, I can make their their terrain difficult. I, I can make it Asha Turf or something. That, do we need to be... find out where they they're they're headed first, or do we see where they're headed? 
I mean, if they're uh, going slow enough, we can find out there's real like quick. There's like three different directions when you get down to the main floor of the 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 pits, um, like you know, three star kind of directions in the in the the base floor. So, I mean, do you do you want to? Um, I guess well, you can do a couple things here. Do you, you can like spend time trying to like scan the crowd to see if you can spot them. Maybe chat folks up to see. Which way they went? Could I uh, utilize perception to see if I can spot them? Yeah, or a survival check to maybe track to see if uh, I definitely don't have that. If they've knocked something over, perhaps oh, on I the have, way. I have survival. Yeah, make survival? make me a roll. Yeah, you get a plus four. Twenty-three. Ooh, that's there. It is. Rebecca doesn't need any of your help, guys, with these rolls. <laughs> <Just> so, <laughs> good. so um, real quick. Uh, mm -hmm. So Wraith gave us a pool of fifty points to add to our rolls. Ooh, mm -hmm. thank you. How, how many of those points have been used? Uh, so yeah, that's the, what we were uh, using. That, that, that's for that's rerolls for rerolls yeah. or for plus five, plus tens. I think everyone's used a little bit, if not all of it. Thank you so much, Wraith. Um, it says. 50 points to the cantina job crew. Yep. Yep. And they've also donated for tomorrow night's stream, which we'll talk about at the end of tonight's a little bit. But um, I guess how much is a, how much? One dollar is, a... is like a point. So you can use plus three for a plus three or about three dollars for like a plus Do three. Do we know how or... much is remaining? Have you used a reroll or a, uh, a bonus yourself, Seth? I used one reroll. Okay, then you used like a fifth of <laughs> that donation already. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything left. I think everyone's either used a reroll or plus ten. Is that right? Uh, I think that's true. I think okay. so. I did, I didn't actually Let me continue. Yeah. Let me continue on here because we got a success with this first part of the chase. It's called urban tracking. Uh, you you know see some like knocked over stanchions maybe someone is like fiercely collecting chips on the ground in one location it looks like someone's run through there in a hurry and indeed as you look westerly on the sales floor you see a a huge crowd and in them uh an astrozoan let me show you the art of who we are looking at here Mm -hmm. So you've not seen them before, but this is what the character art looks like for an Astrozoan. Old Elbow Eyes is back. Hey! That's <laughs> one of them. It's really disturbing. I like that one. One of the pieces of art. So that's who you can spot out in the crowd and head into the next part of this chase... You guys got to push your way through this crowded casino. Uh, we need uh, we need a successful idea to get through, to push through this crowd for the next phase. Uh, I should mention, one of you can just be like the point person to lead, and I've, um, everyone else can aid on this check. Um, we, we had a full success from... Obazaya, so we didn't need to go into that. But mm -hmm. can I literally push through the crowd? What skill do you think that would be? Athletics. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll push behind her, but she needs my help certainly. It pushing crowds. <laughs> needs Navasi in there, just throwing a a, a dainty elbow. <laughs> I mean, would it be, would, I mean, would diplomacy help? Not. In aiding, no, it, it would be athletics if you want to aid this. If oh, anybody's going to throw yeah. elbows, I would expect. But it to you be can bossy. you can roll without any bonus for uh, for an aid. I mean, it, won't, it won't help me. So All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Well, help. It'll help her if you roll a ten or more. Hey, I'm uh, success from Navasi. So you got a a plus two right there, and Rebecca oh! Rebecca never needs anyone's help. Obazaya never needs anyone's help. Another natural. 19 to you in a row. I'm just hanging oh, on to really her coattails. Well, if I don't use the bonuses from donations, apparently, this is not good for the charity. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, um, you guys like 
begin to part through this crowd, and you see Obaziah just like, excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the Vossi behind somehow helping, I guess. Um, I'm just apologizing as we walk past. <laughs> yeah, you're just like tripping people. It's like, oh, sorry, oops, sorry. Um, yeah, and you see Ven- uh, Vancarsis, the, the an Astrozoan form, turn around and be like, yeah! Uh, and you see them shapeshift. Uh, a few times, maybe trying to obfuscate, and you see them duck below the the sight line, um, and yeah, the, you push through the crowd, and you see dozens of people just kind of standing about towards the the entrance near the shuttles, uh, maybe waiting. There's like one that's like coming into the dock right now. Um, they seem to be hiding in plain sight, and trying not to to give off. Who they are, you see, maybe a, a fat-looking goblin that could be a medium-sized creature, and uh, a, a witch word here, uh, a drow, uh, Verthani, Rhyforian. There's all kinds of aliens here. How, how are you gonna sort out who's who? Can I can I use sense motive to see if anybody is like out of breath or uh, or uh, um? Looking, sort of, like, darting their eyes around, looking nervous. Um, well, I will say you start, like, investigating, looking for some red eyes, but you see a lot of red, bleary eyes, and it seems like a lot of people ran here from the casino floor, so you you catch that in multiple people. So, if you want to go for that as your role, it'll be probably a little harder to, to tell. Anybody else got any other ideas? Thank you, Wraith. Have a good night. Thank you. Um, oh, good night, Wraith. I, I can use limited tele- telepathy if you give me a target. Well. Just to see if we can figure that out. Well. Um, all right. So Obaziah will go and stare in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so, I mean. So, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use Dietreth's uh, uh, re-roll here if I, if I roll poorly. Um, in fact, you know what? I might add, just go ahead and add 10 to it to start. Do you, do you want to use perception instead to see if you can just kind of figure out uh, who could be a witch warper here or a, a astrozoan here? <laughs> we, know, we know who the witch warper is. I'm, I'm a witch warper. Just um, look for the person who's the worst at combat. That's the witch I mean, warper. I mean, so the, oh, that's so me. The... That's me. <laughs> um, so uh, where, where am I on this thing? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, maybe that's a job for Keskadai, actually. <laughs> do you, do you want Keskadai to uh, to take charge and you just aid, or I'll 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 just aid Keskadai if I'm if I can. Yeah. And uh, I'll say okay. Kes- so Keskadai, Keskadai, uh, use your use your mind thinky powers. Can, Got it. You, can you see where they are? Right, uh, Drew. You said you haven't used your reroll yet. Should have used my. Should have just rolled it. God dang it! I'm gonna use the ten points for Drew's reroll to add to oh, this roll. Yeah. Oh, I missed the mass ferret. <laughs> mass ferret gave me a plus four to uh, a reroll for me. <laughs> for me, uh, I think we could just add that to the DC of the. I needed, of this, it, right? I needed it, Drew. I needed it, Drew. Oh four. wow! <laughs> oh my god! Did you use your entire bonus? Your big yeah, bonus. So that's plus eight to perception, and I Aww. used the ten points for a reroll. I was adding plus four to the DC too. Uh, you see a very sweaty looking um, <laughs> Lashunton, you know, kind of uh, nervous. Okay, so a Lashunton hugging at their their collar. Um, hey, we're not all sweaty. I'm an I am because I've been working out. P.S. You've got a glisten. Look at it. The the, the yeah, shuttle punching things. The shuttle doors are getting ready to open up. Do you wanna do you wanna move forward on them? Yeah, we gotta make our move now. Yeah, I'll point I'll point them out to the team. Get after them. <laughs> just, get them. Get them. I use yeah, that move back invasion of the pod. Em. People just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. As, as you move forward, the doors open, and you can jump on the shuttle with them if you're interested, and they have nowhere to go, and you see them shapeshift right back into the, the Astrozoan form. It's like, all right, you, you've got me. You've got me. I'm so sorry. I, I was just trying to, to get away. I didn't I didn't want to face the, the repercussions here, but uh, what I told you is true. I, I needed that money, and it was for a, 
a very important operation. My my mother's in hospital, um, and I, I would like to see my adoptive mother before and, and give her some of this money if that is that is okay. They they need expensive radiation treatment, or it could be it could be the last time I see them. It's it's why I did this in the first place. Like I said, uh, I I promise I will make restitution to everyone I've wronged. But let me pay for that treatment first. You can come with me. I I will go willingly. No bath no bathroom breaks. No, and takes the money. <laughs> <laughs> I use my natural twenty to attack. <laughs> 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 Um, I mean, Navasi, Navasi believes in healing people who are sick, probably. So Navasi is uh, sympathetic to this Astrozoan's plight and the mother, the Astrozoan's mother's plight. Mm. So despite it, you the fact that nothing? <laughs> it's, a, yeah, it's, like, it's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. Don't you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me four times. Please stop That's it. That's amore. <laughs> right. That's what they say. Uh, no. Uh, Van Carsis will, will hand over the Solaris uh, cred stick. And you can you can go with them to a uh, a clinic in the spike of Absalom when you get back after a 12-hour awkward shuttle ride. And um, it's like 10,000 credits for a very expensive radiation treatment you see a a kindly looking halfling woman this adoptive mother for vancarsis and they they thank you for for helping out their their kid and as you um take them back to <laughs> to the dragon kin uh uh travi trays trays high high what was their name razzle tram what was their Razmataz. Uh Traz High. Uh and they explain why they did it to Traz High, you know, he shakes his head and says, I I can't uh, uh agree to what you done, but I need the money back that you stole from him and we'll find the folks you took money back from the other bars. But I need to pay off uh my contractor right now. Uh I'm opening up a, a small gaming room in the back for things like Tabletop role playing games and 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 small games of chance like Flabrick and and I need someone uh, I need to pay someone to to run that that room so maybe until you pay off your debts you can you can work for me is that is that a, a suitable Van Vancarsis yes that that would be very kind of you and I definitely won't take any bathroom breaks and come out as a dwarf anytime soon oh you better not i've got cameras now trained on the bathroom doors not inside the bathroom, i've got, I've got them all over the bathroom i bought seven more cameras under every seat <laughs> right Settle uh, down there dragon uh yeah van Cars is like uh oh, it's a living and they get <laughs> they get started working off their their debt and invite you to the first Roll of the dice at the the table the the opening night for the <gasps> the bars casino, uh, and we will freeze frame on that. The bounty complete. All of your characters get two hundred credits worth of sedatives. <laughs> so <what? laughs> Dabo! half half a sed- sedative. Uh, sed- <laughs> That's a more. Uh, that's that is the cantina job. That's the adventure. Good deal. That was fun. All right. The, 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 the Starfinder, or I'm sorry, the Paizo Book One Dwarf gets his revenge. Yep. <laughs> yep. Finally. He's back, baby. <laughs> um, Yeah. Way to go, guys. We turned what is suggested as an hour or hour and a half adventure into three hours <laughs> because we <laughs> talked about Star Wars for like 30 minutes. <laughs> hey. Guys, gotta talk about jizz. This is gonna be a yeah. two two part episode when we release the audio <laughs> because it's so long. Can um, you imagine if they if they called it Jasm? Jasm. If our our donors, if we have some leftover <laughs> rolls, we will use them tomorrow night. As tomorrow night, we are playing a another game here on stream. Uh, 
But I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to, well, I'll be there, but I'm not going to be playing. I'm not GMing. That's our friend Jason Keeley, who. Um, who got that guy? GMed uh, Gas Finder last year for Criticon. And is back oh, with a good. new game this year. I'm off camera. Uh, which I'll, I'll show you right now. Is called This Complete Breakfast. Oh, Patrick, your your, oh, your camera is oh, all gosh, silly. Green, I just put it on my all chest. cut out. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, yeah. I remember how to, to work this. No, no, you guys have to guess what the cover looks like. Here it is. <laughs> what was wrong? I can see it just fine. It says This Complete Breakfast. No, here here we go. This is a physical copy. You can only get by watching the stream tomorrow night. We'll have some giveaways then, or donating to Doctors Without Borders. We have. I think i have eight of these for donations so you have a very good chance of winning a copy a physical copy of the book it is free you can get it from jason keely's itch.io which we'll also have in the stream uh, but this physical copy is the only place that you can also get the group official cards <laughs> that that come with it this is a not a dice based ttrpg but a card drawing engine and it only comes with one set of cards because everyone uses the same deck to draw from or i guess the gm draws from for the most part um so yeah i think it's just a three dollar donation for one entry into this obviously you won't have it in time for tomorrow night's stream but you can read the rules online uh, we'll have them in the stream notes and uh on our social media discord all that those good places uh that's tomorrow night and i don't know about you guys i'm very excited about that we're gonna have tyler then <laughs> yeah yeah and we all yeah. all of us all of us have uh except for patrick have original characters for the game as yeah. well as awesome art provided by Seth. So yeah, they Seth went above and beyond I, for this art. It's I really haven't great. Seen this awesome art. I don't think. You're <laughs> um, I mean, there's already great Shut art. Up, Seth. There's a lot of great art in the book uh, itself, and we've like doubled the amount of serial mascot <laughs> art that exists <laughs> in this universe. There's like, uh, I think yeah, only six different characters like in, in the book so we're, now there are 12 yeah there's like you know? double the amount um <laughs> hey jason if you want to if you want to put the uh the characters i drew into your book just uh ring a ding ding mm -hmm. <laughs> uh right and we're and there will be different it's because it's not dice based so you can donate and we have had donations for tomorrow night's stream already um to affect the outcome like give people refreshes on their abilities and redraws or draw two i think is one of the the things that we talked about with jason anyway that's tomorrow night at nine we were going to play some more games uh, after we're done tonight it's like midnight on the east coast so uh I, i'm sorry <laughs> seth is the only it one did, that it, it didn't it didn't happen tonight <laughs> not I mean, east coast do we, but do we want to do we want to do want to leave it up to a donation whether we continue playing tonight or not no uh, no because no, midnight. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be playing by yourself after that hundred dollar dono. Um, no, and tomorrow's night. Tomorrow night, we probably won't have time for it either. But I want to. I do want to do some gaming. So maybe uh, some other point this weekend, we'll we'll figure it out. But right now, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight's stream. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, we had. Uh, I want to thank everyone the for entire doing. time. Yeah, yeah. That was. Yeah, this was. This was. This is really, really generous of everybody to come out and to hang out with us and to donate and help us bring down a a, a, a casino cheater. <laughs> well, it, it, I mean, there are two other bounties also that, do are, good. <laughs> that are out right now that you can play. Um, This one was the first one to come out. And um, after playing this one, I want to do the other two. They're so they're fun. They're, fun. they're like snappy. Um, well, they would be if you didn't get off track. Well, we anyway, we didn't have <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed twenties all over the place, uh, uh, making things a little more dangerous. But and rerolls and what have you. Uh, you guys did a great job. Um, thank you so much for playing with me, everybody. Thank you. Thank Patrick. you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, 
that participated, donated, chatted, told people about it. Tell people about tomorrow night stream. I want to. I want to double our numbers for that game because it's going to be so much fun. I, uh, I'm like the I, only. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes, I'm, I'm like one of the few interested people. To see how I it, am how so excited. I'm yeah. one of the few people Jason has like told a general plot to. I was like, I'm very excited about. <laughs> to watch as a fan <laughs> so thank oh. you everyone for in advance for coming back tomorrow night and have fun at the rest of critter con um yeah. we've got a special interview out with um jessica and linda who we spoke with on the podcast a couple weeks ago um about starfinder society if this is your first critter con uh listen to that on everywhere podcasts are available and yeah thanks again uh, we'll see you tomorrow night and <laughs> At Criticon Six. Night. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. They're like this. Blah, 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 blah. That's not how they like it all. Should I stop this stream or just keep making yeah, the hands? Yeah, you should. Just hands. Do this for about another should. fifteen minutes stop. or so, right? <laughs> okay, I I stopped the stream. I swear. <laughs>